What's going on, everybody? I appreciate all of you that were hanging out waiting for the stream to start. I see we've got a good crowd building already. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit that like button on the way in. For those who watch the replay, though, make sure to hit that thumbs up, that same like button I told the live crowd about, uh, and subscribe and turn on all notifications. When we do these live chats, you can take part right along with us. So today I have my very dear friend, Justin Copeland, come hang out with me. We're, we haven't done a blind smelling rate together in a while, and since it's been a little bit since we've seen each other, it doesn't mean Sorry about that. Accidentally dropped the uh, decants on the mic and uh, it decided to switch over to my main mic. It decided to disconnect the mic for a moment. So my apologies. But like I was going to say, let's let's jump ahead in the chat real quick. We're in second soul. That's a great choice. I mean, compliments of uh, of our special guest today. Electing this Imperium thing to sell my bottles to draft Blase, getting this instead. They aren't one to one, but similar enough. Indeed. Noel, good to see you, sir. Today's my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Noel. Wearing Dior Homme original. I didn't need something that performs good because my fiance is taking me fragrance sniffing today. I mean, hey, that performed really well on me. You're uh, definitely coming to hang out with the right guys in a live chat. Me and Justin are both big fans of the original Dior Homme. Zorro Chrome Extreme from Mr. M.A. Styles. Tommy Bahama set sail Martinique and St. Bart's on each arm. Okay. Excited for this. Essential Obsessions Emperor Andy Drew, good to see you. Jesus, Justin's tricep is looking like it's going to come through the screen and beat my ass. <laughs> Me and the girlfriend are kicking back watching the stream. Son of the day, Vani Havan from Les Indom. I'm not even going to try to butcher that name, but never tried it. But yeah, that's actually my favorite picture to use of Justin in thumbnails. That over-the-shoulder look with the jacket where he's popping the tricep out. And that's an old picture. He's gotten bigger. <laughs> just throwing that out that he's laughing in the next stage. He has gotten bigger. He doesn't do that, but he doesn't live doing the body weight stuff anymore. That man hits the gym now with his genetics. Jesus Christ. Anyways, let me skip ahead because I want to go ahead and bring my guy on. I appreciate everybody. I see you all in here. I'm sorry I'm skipping ahead. I just want to get down to here. Jared, I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we took care of the sound issue. I appreciate the $2 super chat. Volcanus, the king of the Super Chat, has arrived. Daniel Jossier's green leather. Never tried it, but I sure appreciate your constant contributions to the channel, sir. Definitely appreciate it. So, all right. Wow, I was way behind. All right. So, we are there. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, uh, one of my favorite humans on the planet. This man is a vibe. I'm telling you, this man is his own vibe. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Copeland from Stay Fresh Productions. How are you, sir? Fantastic. How you doing, sir? I can't. It's always a good day when I see you, my man. Likewise, man. And it's been a minute since we were able to do this. It has. Man, I need my view magnet, man. I need another 300,000 view video. I need you. <laughs> You're welcome in advance. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to copyright or trademark that that picture 
Yeah. That's something got, about that picture with it. that tricep pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, that is an old photo. It's probably yeah. over two years, almost three years old, maybe. At I this used point. that in the first large live stream replay we have when I had the big beard. That was the first time that's I used right. that thumbnail. That's right. That's like yes. December 21 was the first yeah, time I used that exactly. picture. That's how old that is, guys. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and, and I, I know this live stream has been heavily anticipated. I mean, we were both excited about this idea when I think it was Siash Sniffington. Sir Siash Sniffington's idea. Who gave us the idea. Um, and just so you guys know, this is part one of two. Um, mm -hmm. This is going to be amazing in its own right. But we're going to do another round of this over on my channel next week uh, with a whole new set of fragrances. So, but obviously Ross will explain what it is we're actually doing because you may not know yet. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of guys, if you click show more in the video description, there's a tag spot for Justin and his channel link. My man is getting closer and closer to getting that silver plaque. Let's get him that silver plaque this year. This is long overdue. If you're not subscribed to Justin's channel, I'm not typically, I would say, check out his content, check out their content. If you like what you see, subscribe. 100% confident you're going to like what you see. Go subscribe to this man's <laughs> channel if you're, for some odd reason, not subscribed to Justin. I promise he's one of the more unique, cool cats in this space that'll make you think hard hitting From time to time. I yes. I got to give that. it to you. So I would be remiss if I didn't ask, what are you wearing today? Well, to be honest with you, and this is just my decision, I chose to not put anything on yet mm -hmm. um, just to kind of keep the palette neutral. Um, I but I do have two perspective scent of the days after we finish streaming today. One of them I showed you backstage, which is yes. new to the collection. Thank you to my man Jared, who's shout outs to the bishop, the man, baby cat. Grace is actually wearing it today. I might put on a few sprays myself. This would be my first actual full wearing. I've only tried it on the hand so far. And if not that, then I just got this yesterday and I filmed a little first impressions, which I'll put out next week. This is one of the newest from Goldfield and Banks, Ooh. Silky Woods Elixir. Look at that color and to that bottle. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like actually haven't copper. tried the original. I yeah. haven't tried the original either. I know it's popular. And it's, it's lovely. You just first spray yesterday, I was like, mm, I'm going to have to give this a wear in today. So we will see what I feel. How about yourself? They, they quietly put out incredible fragrances because I know how we both feel about Purple Suede. Yeah, no, that one is, is that, great. That's never been on the shelf. It's right next to the silver play button. That's literally, uh, I pull the cap and it all the time. I love that fragrance. Yeah, man. I'm Actually, I do. Clothes. Yes, we did see you going off about it, but we didn't hear anything. Yeah, y'all didn't hear anything. I'm sorry. You were it. in it. You were just like spraying it. And I'm, I'm just like, oh, no. Oh, no, they're missing yeah. all this. Yeah. My bad, guys. My bad. But my bad. We, we could see it. Without yeah. the sound, we could see the passion. It's like I know exactly in my how face. Ross feels about this yeah. without hearing a word. It's blue Armani code. Of course I like it, you know? Yes. It's not just totally. a clever color for the bottle. It's very much the blue version. It is. Yeah. It's a great, uh, great version they did of that. So, guys, I feel like uh, the best thing here is kind of a give and take, a back and forth. So, again, what we did was we sent each other 10 decants in two separate packs, five and five, one for this channel, one for his channel. He labeled them Ross Live <laughs> for this one. And uh, I sent him a five pack that are on the fresh side and a five pack that are on the dark side. So he's got a fresh pack, yes. dark pack. And you are going with which pack? We're going with dark today. Um, I just got this mailer here and they're all here just sitting very patiently so mailers inside of mailers is what yes indeed like. yes and i got <laughs> blotters on deck so we will we'll be sniffing i'm gonna be a wild man and just go straight on skin <laughs> are you, are you sure? on this arm. yep <sighs> wow some layering okay. action. And I can tell you guys they're strong. My whole room's been smelling like whatever the hell's in this bag. Yeah. Like, oh, let me let me look at what I sent you because I, I yeah, there's gonna be some ones they you might get slapped around a little bit. I'm just gonna warn you. Um <laughs> not I one. will not be doing that just because I did not prepare for that. I literally jumped out the shower right before <laughs> I caught on here. So maybe next time, maybe I'll prepare that next time. So you know, there to say I'm not getting the full effect, but We've been doing this a long time, guys. I I have an idea of what I'm dealing with. Indeed. But I look forward to seeing how you're feeling by fragrance number four. 
<laughs> oh, so we, you want to go in numerical order? I'm assuming you have them numbered. Oh, no, no, not. I mean, it's just the fourth oh. fragrance you smell. Oh, we're just on skin in general. Yeah, oh, look whatever, at, whatever. Man, yeah, you're making me look like a cheapskate with these atomizers. Jeez. Oh, man. I, I had to make a quick adjustment because, again, I was. The, the nice refillables. For those of you that don't know, they have the yeah. little spot. You take the, the atomizer top off and you can literally pump it just into pump the bottle. pump it. Yeah. And they're super cheap on Amazon. Like, yeah. Totally worth I'll it. Damn, so, really nice. So I, I, I got them. Basic decants. I, I you know. You put in love and, and passion into putting each of these in, I'm sure. Because of course, you know, with big smiles to. on my face, I promise yes. you. Big smiles <laughs> on my face. I'll be these for you. Totally. Okay. So um, we we're 11 minutes in. We got 175 people currently. I'm sure that'll just build a little bit more as people want to come jump in. For those of you just getting here, if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up. Uh, it does help. It does yes, indeed help. Sure it does. For those of you just getting here, if you're not subscribed to my wonderful guest here, Justin Copeland, please do so in the video description box. And uh, I think it would be best for my guest to go first. So, Justin, why don't you start us off with one? You don't have to go in numerical order if you want to grab number three first, two first, whatever. I got my list pulled up, so I know what you're going to be checking out. All right. Let me pull them all out of here. You, you know, I do first. have to... Uh... Unfortunately, it looks like you may have had one culprit leak. One leaked. Damn. And as a result, some of these labels have oh, no. slid off. Um, uh -oh. Some of them are in text, so I could possibly just show you. And by process of elimination, you could say, oh, yeah, that one's this, that one's that. It looks like just two of them came off. So, well, and, well and, they'll be, yeah, because it's maybe be based on the juice. Well, what? based on the juice color, you might know because one's dark, one's light. So, well, is number two one of the ones that the label came off? It looks like no. That's two is intact. Okay. One came off and four came off. And oh these boy. are these are the guys. Oh boy. So, so uh the dark one's number four. Okay, I'm gonna start with one. Let's okay. do that. Do that. I don't know which guy you oh know, boy. Lost I'm so his... glad you started with the dark pack. This is some bangers right here. Okay, I believe it. You you may potentially break my heart with any one of these five at any given moment. Like these are all favorites. All ten that I sent to you are personal favorites. I mean, that I know you haven't tried. And it goes both ways. Like these are all favorites from the heart. You know, guys, we're just we literally just hand selected a few fragrances from each of our collections that we know the other has not tried to smell blindly and with the hope that you know. We impress each other or something of the sort. The All culprit right. of today's video has arrived. I see we got Sir C.I. Sniffington's in the house. He said, live blind sniffs are goaded content. I'm hyped. <laughs> okay. Here is. So this number is number one. one in the dark pack that I sent him. So all five of these are darker fragrances that I sent to Justin in this pack. Yes, indeed. All right. Let's see here. Mm, okay. Incense. Yep. Man, it's very incense forward in a beautiful way. It it reminds me of something I have, but I know I don't. I'd be surprised if you have this. Yeah. This, this one blindsided me when I got it. It was a total surprise from a collaboration with a company that I did. Oh. Huh. They surprised okay. me. Like I didn't pick this fragrance. I told them. Okay. Me, and this was my favorite of the package they sent. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah this is like slightly sweet ambery incense. It's coming off a little on the fresh-ish side on this paper. Incense can be, you know, a little fresh, but I think it'll be less fresh on the skin. Um. Maybe some wood in the background. Mm -hmm. But I am getting like an olibanum kind of incense -y feel out of this. And it's really, it's coming across a little bit ethereal, but okay. with with personality to it. Like it is distinctive and it's just elegant. It smells really elegant for an mm -hmm. incense fragrance. It's not overtaking me unless there's like molecules I'm not detecting or something. It's, it comes across in a very um, nuanced way. I feel like it's not just hitting me. Like it kind of, I sniff and then it comes in slowly and then the rest of it tails behind it kind of thing. For being incense dominant, it does have an airiness to it. 
Yeah. But it's still a deep fragrance overall. There's there's some complexity here. I imagine the paper is kind of freshening it up a bit. But it, it does have it. It is an airy fragrance, though. But I am yeah. the thing I'm happiest about is that you're getting the smoky nuances here. Because typically the dark yeah. notes kind of fall flat, as you know. Yeah. No, this is nice. I would totally wear this. It's something I would wear evening out, fall, winter, spring, probably. Um, yeah, I'm curious. Curious what, what I'm smelling here. Because it it doesn't exactly smell like nothing I've never smelled before as far as incense goes. Again, it reminds me of a couple of other things I have in my collection. I would give it like a seven, seven and a half, honestly. It's not wowing me, but it's like only because I haven't. It's not like I've never experienced it before, but it's really well done for what it is. And I can totally give it that. I love nuance. I love when it's all just... You know, I firmly uh, believe that. Oh, I just see in the private chat you put looks like your sound cut out. <laughs> yeah. so, um, Too late. I firmly believe that would be a higher rating if this was on skin. Okay. Because this is from Epico Parfums. This is called Vanille Noir. Not familiar at all. Franken Frankincense Olibanum. It has okay. uh, a lot of smoky notes. Guyac wood. It's very wow. Smoky. You know, I'm not getting quite of the, you know, a dark smokiness like that on, There's the, an uh, airiness on the paper. To it, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I the see. dark notes typically fall flat on the paper. I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, I do like it. On skin, I'm sure it would be a different story. I'm not getting the full effect as maybe expected. But does it remind you of anything else in, as far not as incense goes? Not specific. Okay. This, the bottle's gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Brand. I've never heard of this brand. That's so cool. I got this from Fragrapedia House. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. They had sent this. Awesome. He said, I'm convinced you're going to like this one. And it was okay. my favorite. It's a 9.5 for me. It's my style. Wow. I love the incense fragrances. Yes, I know. It's you sure very do. rich and smoky. There's so much different. There's different levels to the t smoky tone because it's Guyac wood. There's an Olibanum yeah. resin. There's a frankincense on top of that. You get clove. There's citruses and cinnamon, like you even have citron and bergamot here with all that smokiness. It's an interesting wow. fragrance. So when you get it on skin, it really opens this, this profile up. Okay. Gorgeous stuff. Gorgeous. I dig it. I can smell the quality once again. If you uh, excuse me for just a second, I was a noob and I forgot to actually grab my bottles so I can no show worries. them to you. Let me go well, grab I don't have them all quick. either. I don't have that's well, why still, I got parfum. I mean, though. you had it on deck there. I'll be right well, back. Well, that one's all that one's always within arm's reach. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one second. I'll be back. No worries, second. no worries. I'll get caught up on the chat. So uh incense mythique is not in this video, Paul. That's not one of the ones I sent to him. It is right here, though. From Galon, which I did wear aqua allegoria or in Solea last night man was that a great wearing experience got about a good four or so hours before i stopped noticing it three to four hours and then it kind of faded to a skin scent but it was really really good just got my loam ideal cologne absolutely lives up to the hype going to love it this summer that is a great fragrance matthew great great fragrance i wore saharian wind yesterday by the way i don't know if you saw that i am him show me different what's good ross and justin love the collab scent of the day bahara king Let's see. Just ordered Lebeau Paradise Garden. Yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that sold out immediately. Lamal Lovers available. Profondo Parfum is available. I just bought like eight fragrances before this live stream. I was just telling Justin. Fragrance by a bunch of new stuff Savage. that came in stock. I heard you talking about Ensemble Mythique. That stuff is great. Yeah. So so that was Paul's guess on what I had sent to you. I have it right here. Oh, I just oh you have that. Yeah, that's man, that's a great scent. I just have a decant. That is a beautiful. Do you remember incense. when we smelled Santal Royale with Andrea? That's also we a, a stunning. We did a blind scent. smelling rate on her that channel. That is also great. Time. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I bought it at the same time. I've been getting more Guerlain's lately. I got Bois um, Bois Mysterio from that line, and that's that one is not easy on the nose, but it's it's a lot beautiful. of people have been on me about getting that one. We looked at the okay. notes on the flip screen and a lot the other day. It doesn't look like it on paper, but it is a little bit animalic. I wore this last night. Oh, lovely! The orange Slea. I haven't tried it. The Aqua Allegoria. Um, it's a blood orange, but man, I could have swore there was Neroli in here until I saw the notes. 
uh, mm. but very blood orange heavy, bright and airy. The Tonka bean doesn't overtake it. Beautiful fragrance, really is. Last night was my first wearing. Okay, that sounds refreshing. Stepping up my Zerzoff and my Guerlain game this year. That's the plan. Likewise. Yes, indeed. So, all righty. Okay, before I dive into that, no, it is a new flanker, the 2024 edition. It's not rebottled EDP. It is a parfum flanker with different notes. Mm. And uh, shout outs to our rep that told me he got 10 compliments today. He bought himself a bottle. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> not to throw his name out there, but yeah, he was okay. the one that let me know. <laughs> oh, okay, some cool stuff today. So he's Go like, ahead, I know you right. want these. Yes, <laughs> yeah. and he told me, and I was like, wait, 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 that's Profondo Parfum. He's like, yeah, I, I got. He said I got more compliments today than I've gotten in the last ten years. I bought a bottle. That was what he told me. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So see, even even reps at fragrance companies yeah. <laughs> get susceptible to, Oh, I'm getting compliments. This yes, is a great this fragrance. Is great. You should totally great. talk about this one. <laughs> yeah. So Mikey from my cell smell says, Ross, I know it's off topic, man, but I've getting more serious in the gym the past couple months. Any recommendations for a solid pre-workout? You really can't go wrong with any of them. Honestly, most of them are really good. They all have basically the same formula. For the most part, you're going to get a little over three grams of beta alanine. It's going to give you the skin tingles. Um, L-citrulline is going to help giving you a good pump. It's it's all just whatever. You're going to get a caffeine bomb out of it. going to get you nice and hyped up. Um, none are really all that better than the other. Like you won't take total, total war and feel any better than if you take uh, Chris Bumstead's pre-workout formula or or, um, you know, Mr. Hyde from from Jacked, uh, not Jacked, uh, Bucked Up, or any of those. It's I wouldn't sweat stuff like that. Like, if you see a flavor that interests you, that's probably just go that route, Mikey. Don't, don't overcomplicate things. Look at a flavor that you think would be bearable to drink and enjoy, because they are chalky. None of them are really that great to drink. It's not like drinking this. It's not the same. The flavor is not the same. So that's what I would say to that. But my apologies, Justin. So I have the silver one. You want to go with that first? All right. Yeah, we'll go with the silver one. Sounds like a great start. So I'm seeing see Mr. Mr. Bean in the chat saying center of the day is a horror 30 second soul from the, from the future. future. <laughs> so you have 30, yes. 31 more flankers to do a second soul. That, that, that would also imply based on second soul, I have 31 more wives which that's not gonna happen <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon you could be a mormon that lives multiple lives <laughs> like, no have like 10 lives and be mormon and all 10 of them gosh and yes george would want to collaborate with me doing yeah, that for sure, for sure. <laughs> all right let's see what we're working with here let me wave off some of this alcohol this is familiar hmm this smells like something. I feel like I've smelled this before. Okay. Oud forward. A little spiced. Very smoky. Mm. I find it to be very smoky on my skin. Okay. Honestly, it's a little medicinal. Okay. It comes across a little medicinal to me. I could definitely see that up close for sure. Yeah, because I'm right up on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. So this is very, this has got, it smells like a lot of incense. Okay. Is there incense in here? There's something smoky. It smells like incense specifically, though. I will not uh, confirm or deny just oh, yet. Okay. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> it smells very woodsy, like it could be a very specific oud. Like, I don't even want to name a specific oud like Cambodian or something like that and be far off, but it smells like a sweeter oud. Very woodsy, smoky, but airy at the same time. It's got this airiness to it, but mm. dense woody backbone. Like, it's very wood dominant. Like, Agreed. there's a variety of woods here, I would say. Okay. I like this. It's even got a little touch of an earthy tone starting to come in. Okay. Definitely not for the warmer weather, but boy, I'll tell you what, in a, a special occasion, 
cooler weather, not even cold, but slightly cooler weather to where you're wearing longer sleeves. Not necessarily has to be a sports jacket, but I would think that would suit this a bit better. This is one of those fragrances to step out to kind of be the cherry on top when you're upgrading mm. the presentation a bit. That's kind of because this is going to be a separator. This is one of those things that will separate you a bit from others. Agreed. I like this quite a bit. It's like an eight out of ten kind of fragrance for me. It smells okay. familiar. That's why I can't go like, oh my God, wow, it's a nine. Sure. But I think I think it is great. Eight out of ten is what I'll go. What 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 do we smell in here, Justin? Mm. So I honestly cannot remember if I've showed this to you. I feel like maybe I have. It smells uh, but familiar. if I have, it's been some time. Is it oud oil? Uh, no. This oh. is Halfetti Cedar. Yes, from I King have smelled this with you before. Very wood okay. dominant. Very much cedar dominant for like sure. like oud for a moment. So I'm way off on that. That's definitely not oud. Well, um, there's a there's dried fruits in there as well, which if you mix with the wood, it can almost like, how do I say this? Kind of uh, ferment it in a way. It's like, I don't know, I just kind of get that vibe. So I know what that you mean sense. by that. Because that's essentially what oud is. It's like, kind of fermented, fermented agar, yeah. agar wood tree um but yeah there's there's rum there's peach there's this is really good yeah have you good. tried how fetty leather no i've had lots man of when i was in it. a tampa with omas and george atkinson george atkinson had me try it mm. i need a bottle of that i've heard great things about yeah, it's the leather. phenomenal yeah so let's pull up how fetty cedar woody no joke <laughs> spicy fruity earthy Indeed, Oriental. Yep. Rum. I would not have guessed that. It's, it's kind of swallowed up by the woods for sure. Yeah. So the dried fruit, Virginia cedar, immortelle, mineral notes, mm -hmm. atlas cedar, even more cedar, patchouli, labdanum, tonka bean. So hmm, it must be a combination of things that was giving me kind of that oud like smell because it very much, I, I was clearly fooled into that. But woody dominant through and through, there was no two ways of that. Definitely. Yeah, this yeah. is definitely not uh, like my current attire. Not appropriate. Same I mean, you can here. wear whatever you want whenever, obviously. But I think I'd be doing an injustice to this fragrance dressed the way I am currently. I feel like you need to step out with this one a bit more. Yeah, I think it just makes more sense when you dress it up at night. You know, mm -hmm. just makes more sense. And it's, it, it won't hurt. I'll tell you that. <laughs> It'll yeah. just make, make it even more pleasant. It's a grown man's profile too, not yeah. the mass appealing, not the young bucks got kind of thing. It's not synthetics, not no, no real sweetness to this one. Like a, even for dried fruits and peach and stuff like that, I don't really find it sweet at all. It's so it is dominant. very, very woody. Yeah. No guarantees. You'll like it. I've had people try it and then message me saying like, I shouldn't have blind bought this. I'm like, I told you. You're right. You should have. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. Yeah, it's like you should have sampled that thing. This, uh, is but yeah. dry. this is settling in really nicely. It's getting smoother. Like the sharpness is toned back. Yeah. Cedar wood can definitely be a little peppery and pretty really prickly. Good. But yeah, it smooths out pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going with next, sir? Well, I'm just going to continue down the line. We'll do number two. Okay. And see what it has to offer. This ought to be good. Oh, you're telling me. Mm -hmm. You know what it is. Yes, I do. I'm pulling it up now. Let's see here. There it is. So let's give number two a little <clears throat> spray. All right. I'm dying to see what you think about this one specifically. Wow. There's two of it. these five that I very much want to know, and this is one of them. Getting it in the air already. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Mm. There's some oud in here. You would think, but no. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry. There is. Yeah. There is. <laughs> My bad. My bad. It's all good. My bad. I'm like, there, this is there's an... something very distinctive that blends really well with it. Yes. That fools you. Like, you're going to be like, what? When I tell you this main note that's in there. The, yeah, it, there's a distinctive funk, but I can tell, yes, there is something else that you're referring to. Justin with a gold chain is so alien to me. 
Wow. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Best well, two fragrance guys on YouTube. We appreciate that, Ash. Yeah, appreciate that. Gosh. Yeah, I couldn't tell you exactly what else I'm smelling here that's blending with this oud. Because there's something else. It's not very sweet. Um, the only word I can use to describe this, and this is going to sound really weird, so forgive me. Bushy. <laughs> it's Fair. like it's like wood, oud wood, like covered in some kind of moss. It's something dark that it's very dark. I don't even know what the heck I'm smelling here. It's very intriguing. I, I have not smelled an oud quite like this. Um, Me either. To be honest, at least up close, I'm not sure. I would say I really like this. I would say that. I'm intrigued by it and I can mm -hmm. completely appreciate it. But this, I mean, it smells very natural, like real deal. Mm -hmm. It's mellowing out a little bit. This is another one where skin would do it some good, but I'm the sure. opening would hit you even harder if it was. <laughs> I'm sure. And yeah. I'd have to shower. You got to get it, that opening will punch you. Yeah. yeah. And I would have to shower again before my wife got home. Um, <laughs> I like this more and more. Gosh. George Atkinson did as well. He raved about it. He loved okay. it. Okay. I don't know what the heck I'm smelling. I can't pick this apart. It's um, it's a tough one. And it's not a complex scent. It's just a weird one. Again, I can I would agree with that. It doesn't smell overly complex. I feel like there's oud and maybe two other main things at the most really playing together. And the other two are just shrouded. So what's with the gold chain thing? So Kid Cool says that boy JC with the gold chain and Ross with the tats and piercings. I disappear for a few and come back to the mid 2000s. <laughs> the gold chain was a birthday gift mm -hmm. last week. So that explains the gold chain from my wife. I've been wearing earrings since I was 14 up until I started this channel. So I put them <laughs> back in and it's like an act, you know, oh, my God, what happened? You know? <laughs> and I got some tattoos. So everybody's been freaking yeah, out. Yeah, people are like, oh my gosh, identity, identity yeah. change. Yeah, I, I can't say I like this more than the incense. So I'm gonna give no, this a I, seven I think, right now. Okay, that's fair because because the incense dominant fragrance I think is more wearable, but this is a showstopper, especially totally. on skin. It's very much. I, I gotta special. know what brand this is. Who made this? So this is, I always say the second part of the name wrong, but Fort and Mantle, Manly, Mantle, Manly. Fort and Manly. I, yeah. yeah. Mr. Bojnikov's purple hat. That is okay. dark chocolate. That what? is dark chocolate, cedar and oud. And it's a very bitter dark chocolate. That's why it doesn't smell like chocolate. It's not very sweet. Bitter. No, not at all. And Gourmand's the main accord they're putting in. I think they're crazy. It's no. now as it dries, it becomes more chocolatey, but it's never like typical chocolate, delicious dessert like smell. Gourmand, so I would not classify it gourmand, honestly. It's much no. more of an earthy, woody fragrance. No, yeah, this like the mossiness you were talking about. I find it has a strong, earthy tone as well. Totally, mm -hmm. yeah. I've never smelled a nude like that. I've smelled ouds with chocolate before, but not like not this. Like this. <laughs> um, Interesting. Yeah, I haven't smelled anything from Fort Manly. I've been hearing about them for years and just have not tried anything. How did you come across uh, getting so, this in your collection? At least once a month, I go live and take suggestions from the audience on what I should buy. This is okay. Wonderful. They were like, you need to try this. You'll like it. I'm telling you, it's different. And I got it. And it's been great for these collab videos because Omas, not a huge fan, but he could appreciate it. George Atkinson, 10 out of 10. Loved it. Wow. Absolutely loved it. Yep. Okay. I'll have to get it on skin because I, I want to really on skin, feel you the... will appreciate it more, but it is potent. That mm. opening really pops you in the nose. If you give it a five minutes or so, it does get lovely. There's an elegance and, that really comes out with it. And you know what's so it's always a great reminder. When I first sprayed it on the blotter mm -hmm. and I got it in the air, it was significantly different than up close. Um, I would even rate it higher in the air it was like it kind of grabbed me i'm like oh and i think i almost got more chocolate 
because it was sweeter in the air. And then once I got up to it, the oud was like, <laughs> nope. Yeah, the oud <laughs> Locked in my way. Dominant up top. So, you know, it's just, again, it's another reminder. Like, it's a different experience, guys. When you put some on your hand and, uh, I don't know. Like, that's, when you yeah. wear it, you're not going to be doing that. So just keep that in mind. How fatty cedar is amazing, though. It just gets better every time I go back to it. It does. This and is one hang, I need. It hangs I need around. To I need to buy here. this, but not today because I spent like seven or eight hundred. Yeah, maybe not recoup a bit. <laughs> maybe in a few weeks. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Chill out. Because I wasn't expecting to buy all that. And I saw um, Brandon mention that it's a 2024 EDP. So I can triple confirmed with my rep that it is indeed the newest release, the Parfum. I triple confirmed before I made the made the order. And I was like, come on, email me back because stuff was selling out left and right. And yeah, like, come on, yeah. I don't want anything in my order to sell out. Yeah. Paradise Garden was the only thing that sold out right away. Mm. But yeah, I like I said, I triple confirmed. Now, look, does it show up and it's not the parfum? There's a possibility. I don't know because it's not listed. It's listed as 2024 edition EDP. I'm sure you I'm sure you got the right one. But but my rep, I triple confirmed. We had an email chain. He was at his computer, so I was back and forth with him to make sure before I spent all this money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll, next one up is your choice next one up i think we're gonna go with the black atomizer all right great choice oh great choice all right let's go uh up on top of the wrist here by the by the watch give that a second did you put noir absolute in here Okay, so that's not what that is, because immediately that's what I thought. It's Pasha de We're Cartier, talking about. Oh no, no, I know you got that. Immediately, one. what I thought when I smelled this. Not no absolute. Okay, it's getting different. That initial blast, it kind of reminded <laughs> me. Of, and I was like, I have a bottle. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I bought it off of you. <laughs> yes, you, you sold me. I was like, ooh, because I was already interested in how different the little note breakdown was, and then you got it before me. And when you could appreciate that strangeness to it, I mm -hmm. wore it for Christmas. That was my Christmas fragrance. Yeah, and I'm glad my wife loves it too, which I was like so Mine surprised. Too, I was surprised. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Definitely yeah, it's not classy. A dealer. Yeah, it comes off real classy when you don't just get overwhelmed by it. But anyway, what you think of this? There's some green tones, earthiness to this, with aromatics. Mm. I feel like I'm getting earthy green and aromatics. Okay. Something heavily like. Um, it's almost like walking through a forest and there's a fire burning in the distance. Hmm. It's kind of the picture I'm being painted when I smell this. Like it's lightly smoky, but I also get like a fresh, like almost cypress like or fur balsam resinous kind of green, okay. woody and earthy feel to this. But like I said, in the distance, there's some wood burning. Yes. Okay. That's kind of how it comes across to me. I like this. This is a good transitional season fragrance on into the winter. I think early spring and then fall winter. Mm. Daytime on not just your average casual day. Okay. okay. Uh, obviously evenings, but this is the kind of thing I would wear during the day. I like stuff like this during the day in the cooler weather. Great. Oh, this is elegant, but very wearable. Yeah. This has something something to it. Like it's not a basic fragrance. Um but highly wearable at the same time. There's another one I think is a good eight out of 10. Hmm. This is good. This is really good. Yeah. I'm curious. You definitely hit quick, me with some good ones. <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah. Can you, can you hold up the atomizer to the camera with a little opening just so I can see the color? I just want to make sure I, you're smelling what I think you are. I, it looks like you are. Okay. Just yeah, I think we're good. I just want I'm like some parts of your explanation are like smoky, but there's something fresh starting to creep in too. Okay. Like I didn't get any citrus at first, but I kind of feel like I'm getting a little bit of citrus now. Interesting. Mm. Mm. What am I smelling? Okay. Like? You are smelling one of my absolute favorites. If it is what I believe it is, I marked it as such. Uh not easy to get mm -hmm. to Bach 28. Oh. Le that Labo. explains the earthiness. Tobacco, Gaiac wood. This was a uh, gift from Grace for those of you that did not This know. was a gift from Grace uh, several years ago, almost four years mm. ago now. And man, I love this stuff. <clears throat> it is simple, but it's very authentic. 
It so is the, like the cedar wood, guyac wood, the cardamom, the oud. That's about all of that makes sense. Smokey's the second accord. Like pretty much everything I list, I didn't really get a ton of spice. It's funny that spice is the main accord, but the other four accords is exactly what I got. Yeah, from. yeah, a little bit green. I didn't get anything boozy. I get some booziness for some reason. Um, this, in fact, I don't any, really. Any... I, like it's drying out a little bit. I think the tobacco is starting to come out mm. more. Do you get any sweetness out of it? Not Faint, really. Not okay. really. It, it's drying up a bit. Like it's becoming a dry aroma. Okay. If you get any sweetness at all, that is the rum. It is definitely a little swallowed, but that is where it's coming from. I mean, it, it comes from the sugar cane. Uh, so any sweetness you get is rum, but it's not like a glass of rum you're drinking kind of thing. It, definitely tobacco for, definitely smoky. Tobacco Against. and I would say probably guyac wood cedar, probably the the first mm. three notes listed. I think is what the main things I'm getting here. They're what makes the most sense for what I'm smelling. Because mm. it's smoky, it's dry, and it's got a sharp woody tone to it. There's tobacco, nice. cedar, and guyac wood. There you go. Yes, yeah, man, that's one of my favorites. Um, again, it's a city exclusive to Miami, guys. Yeah. So unless you're in Miami. Mm -hmm. The only time you can get it from wherever you are is during August and September every year where mm -hmm. you can buy it online at any, you know, on the Le Labo website or any other Le Labo store around the world. But outside of those two months, you got to go to Miami to get it. Unless there's some sites out there maybe decanting, which is definitely a possibility. This I, I'm shocked at the wearability of this one, because you would think when you see these notes, you see the name and it's the Labo. A tobacco forward fragrance you're probably thinking it's not as casual as i feel like it can be can it dress up absolutely definitely comes across it has some classiness to it heavily yeah. masculine fragrance but like i said highly wearable that yeah. offers this casual daytime feel that i would enjoy totally you know what um and that's a great observation i think that considering the context of the brand that it's from le labo they're they are luxury niche mm -hmm. mostly but just about everything they make is very accessible even though it is distinctive mm -hmm. and and can be quite authentic it's also quite accessible so i think it's frank vocal who's the uh the perfumer and i think he did a great job because if this was stronger i think it would be more of a showstopper and it might yeah. be more polarizing as a result but because it has this accessibility to it it's very welcoming more people are going to take to it and obviously more sales for them. Good job, Le Labo. Yeah. But um, but I think it's one of the more special ones I've tried from the house. It it does it is wearable, but it has some character to it. It's not just this easy breezy kind of throw it on flippantly kind of thing. So so far, you can tell we didn't go the route of basic designers. If there are any designers here between the two of us, I guarantee you they're not all that basic. Because so yes. far, it's been pretty impressive. Yes, uh, we're we're definitely seeking to wow each other, open up some eyeballs, and you know, like whoa! I wow, didn't put what is any, that? I didn't put any tricks in this. <laughs> like these are straight up. Like I really think you'll like them. I really want to see what you think because I enjoy them. You know. Likewise. Yeah, no yes, trick indeed. this time. Like like like, there's no Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. Like I tricked him that one time. He's like, oh, this smells niche. Like an <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. that was great. Ridiculous. Oh, okay. So what's that next, man? I'm right down the line, right to number three here. Okay. We're gonna pop this guy open. Let's see here. I got my little blotters. Let me just take these out the bag. All right. Number three. What you got to say? I'm always curious to see what you're gonna think. I could say that on all five of them. You know. Slight same. <laughs> yeah. This is like been anticipating this day for ever it's been in the work for like <laughs> two and a half months something like that it's been a little while i don't know okay. if that's a good look or a bad look I, that is an intrigued look i like wow uh oh i think it just got better look at that face <laughs> okay so this is not a definitive statement if any of these was to be a designer so far, I would say it would have been this one. It's um, not. Okay. It kind of, at least on paper, it has the way that everything is just kind of congealed together. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of 
the way scents come across on paper from designers, but I can tell there's a lot going on here. Not as much as you might think, but it does come across as a very deep and rich fragrance. Yeah, it's deep. It's multi-dimensional. I feel like yeah. I'm smelling into it. And it's not it. loaded with notes. It's six, nine notes, three top, okay. three mid, three base. Okay. You know? But it's just the way the blend is, the way they balanced everything, it's got a depth to it. And it's very well blended. Honestly, mm. it, <laughs> dissecting this is tough. It's... The first thing that hits me is sweetness, but nothing gourmand, nothing that I'd want to mm -hmm. eat, nothing overly resinous. It's like warm, spicy, sweet. Mm -hmm. I see the colors like purple, pink, and black for some reason. That's the vibe black that I get. Black makes all the sense. Okay. All I see the George, sense. George is in the house. Good I appreciate the super chat, Georgie. Thank you very much. This Ladies is beautiful. This in no way means that George Zaharoff paid for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, he just did, but not really. Yes. <laughs> Along with a few other people, of course. Yeah. Um, this is my favorite so far. Really? Only. It's, okay. Now, I will say this. I think I found the others a little bit more interesting, but more especially the second one. The second one was like, oh, I haven't quite experienced this. What is this? This New is experience. this is reminiscent of other things, but way more approachable, the most approachable. So in terms of like, oh, if you put these three on a table, which one are you going to wear for the day? On most days, I would probably pick this one. I know because, what you meant by it. If yeah. there was a designer in the bunch, it's this one because it is probably the most I don't, I hate to use the word wearable, but accessible is a good word. For sure. To too approachable, yeah, like you said a moment ago. It's a great wearing experience. It's one that I don't get tired of all day. And because okay. it does, I don't go nose blind to it. And it has all day longevity and the siage is good enough to where you get whiffs. I'm um, liking this more it's, and it's more. It's a great fragrance. I feel Another like I'm getting surprised. It surprised me. I feel like I'm getting dry woodiness. Mm -hmm. um, definitely kind of spicy. That it is. Maybe some florals, but if they are in mm -hmm. there, they're just kind of like socked in. They don't overtake it any point. Yeah. They don't. Once yeah, again. You get a little more of it. It's a distinct okay. floral, but it, okay. it does There's, I got to tell you, incense and suede are the most dominant notes you'll get on skin. It's another incense fragrance. Interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not getting a ton of incense on skin, but I, it's, on, on it's the paper, a, but I. It's more of a resinous. Totally. It's not airy. Yeah. I am getting that dryness from suede, which I could have mistaken for wood. Mm -hmm. I could see the suede. No, that's why I agreed with you, because I totally get where you're coming from. Because okay. there are no woody notes, but that, that suede okay. is doing it. Yeah. Because there's wood in there to create the accord. For those of you that know, there's no suede oil. There's no leather yeah, oil. Yeah, totally. It's, it's different oils creating an accord. And wood Definitely. is usually in there. Labdenum, things like that. Yeah, maybe even saffron or something. Yeah. yeah. Saffron's um, in here. Oh, okay, yep. for sure. This is great. This is eight. This is a solid eight for me. So this is from Andrea Mack. This is called Magma. I've been seeing this, this brand on Instagram, but have mm -hmm. not tried any of them. Yep. The uh, main cord is synthetic. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't really find it's all that synthetic. Maybe that's why it came across as designer. Sure, maybe so. Uh, but smoky, leathery, fresh, and earthy, all that makes sense. Um, I get okay. a lot of pepper, incense, suede, and saffron from this. Mm. And I think the myrrh is kind of what changes the approach of the incense. Yes. I think that's that, what kind of just kind of alters the way it comes across, the way it's blended. I, I think that myrrh is adding a lot of the sweetness. That's where your vanillic tone is going to come from. Yeah. More than with tonka bean. Because I don't get that typical tonka bean powder or anything like that. Not yes. even on skin. This is really good um, in terms of like wear wearability and more than marginally interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't tie to any one thing in particular. It's kind of a mix that's I can't pinpoint any of it. It's it's good. This is solid. I would, I would totally call this, this more of a mid-level niche type of yeah. type of reach yeah you know, it's not high-end luxury not ultra complex you know the the highest level of oils available but this is definitely a few cuts above what you can expect from things you'll get at macy's you know this is yes this is a very wearable very approachable rich and darker fragrance yeah this is nice 
But yeah, do you know um uh mm-hmm. why am I forgetting names today? There's a someone on Instagram, she's talked about this brand a lot. Short, kind of pixie cut. Oh, um Brian. Why am I drawing a blank? Yes, yeah, like seriously. Olivia. Olivia, yeah, I've right. seen her speak about this brand. And I, even just the bottles alone, I'm like, man, those look really The cool. bottles are interesting. That slant yeah. and everything. Yeah. So um, I was asked to pick if I was interested in reviewing something from the brand. Twisted Lily had reached out. Cool. And uh, so I looked at the notes and I was like, and when I came across Magma, I was like, ooh, that one. Nice. And when I got it, I was like, whoo, great pick. This is a great fragrance. So, man. yeah, it's man. I can't imagine if if you were to spend a little time with it and take it out on the day for the day that you wouldn't end up wanting a bottle of this one. Mm, I could see that very well. And I, and I could see Grace loving this, too. Mm. This I like it. Good, Good stuff. stuff. And I love that name too, magma. It's a right? strong name. <laughs> very assertive. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So I think we're going to go with uh, the Judgment Day decant. You're not a wrestling fan, so you probably won't get it. But, uh, <laughs> I don't. <part> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but my purple. wrestling fans in the chat totally got it. It's the purple one. Okay. Awesome. Really Let's curious about this one. I feel like we're going to say that every time we grab a decant. And it's going to be true every single time. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I was still getting a lot of alcohol. Let me hold off on that. Wave that off just a little bit. Makes sense. I appreciate all of you hanging out with us. I see Boz. I see Spencer. I see Ryan. I see all you guys hanging out. It was nice to see a cameo from George. I don't know if George is still watching, but uh, I appreciate the super chat. And anybody that super chatted prior, I definitely appreciate all of that good stuff. Indeed. Funky. We got a little funky here. Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now, my least favorite. Okay. Yep. Sweaty asshole fragrance. All right. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> i'll just say you're not alone in that yeah. assessment so grace hates this one then right i honestly don't know that definitively um you don't so like I, I can't speak on that but i've seen other people oh, okay. around the community say they don't like this one this is very funky and if it's cumin it's a lot of it okay it's a lot of it and i don't mind cumin typically um is it like cumin and castorium <laughs> no <laughs> it's normally one or the other i'm cool uh, cause I actually find charm in fragrances that feature castorium, even though most people yeah. are like, Oh, it smells like shit. Why would you like that? It's kind of, it's odd. You'd have to smell the fragrances I'm referring to guys. And exactly. You, you know what I'm but I'm going to actually smell this. It is getting better. Here. The opening was very funky. Poo poo. Like, <sighs> yeah, they're <laughs> funky. Poo poo. Yeah. Funky poo poo. Yeah. Funky poo poo. Yeah. Yes. I love this stuff, man. It has smoothed out quite a bit. It, it's that initial blast. Word to the wise, guys. Whatever this ends up being, if you spray it, go take a walk and think about it for a few minutes before take you go. Take a walk. Smell it. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Count to 100, then smell it. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Because got a lot better. Yes. It's definitely on the funky, spicy side. Outside, I can't get past that, though. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not allowing me. There's not a ton going on. I mean, yeah. most of what's in there is in the base, we'll get the which you would get here. later. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, you would get the base a little bit later on as it dries and smooths out. There's but a little bit of a sweetness coming in, though. That makes sense. A little bit's coming in. It's not going to be all that favorable, like a 5 out of 10, and I think I'm being nice with a 5 out of 10 here. Okay. Because I would not wear this, even okay. though it's not as bad as the initial blast. Okay. Yeah, it's not it. me. This isn't this isn't me. And I, I I hate if it's something you enjoy. I'm sorry. It's just it's not a me phrase. No need to apologize. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna keep talking about it and I'm gonna love it either way. But it is getting this is up. this is one I have wanted to show you for some time. Okay. It is cumin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so glad you did that because I've been telling him I was just gonna screw it. I'm just gonna buy a bottle. Yes. I'm so glad. That's declaration part um, five. Declaration Parfum from Cartier, a designer house putting out some edgy stuff. You guys know I'm about that. And to I me, I totally appreciate for- them. And I've I've heard from a lot of people that this is a challenge. This isn't for everyone. And he loves yeah. it. So naturally, when he loves a fragrance, this is one of those rare occasions yeah. that it's not for me. 
normally I'm right there with him. Justin, <laughs> the easiest person to sell me on a fragrance. <laughs> For whatever reason, I do not get it sweaty asshole out of cumin. That's just me. That's the just me. The initial blast. That yes. <laughs> all I can think of. <laughs> I <know. laughs> that was all I could think of, man. <laughs> It's highly rated, eight out of 10, 212 yeah. ratings, you know? You know, I think it's because it comes in a designer bottle. Now, it does pay homage to the original, and I think that might play into my appreciation. I don't know if you've spent much time with the I haven't the smelled any of them. This is the first okay. time I've smelled one in this line. I think that's why, a part of why I like this so much, because I love the, the OG, and it's mm -hmm. in here, but it's like a true flanker. It is not redundant. It is a new personality on the DNA. And it's more. It's just like heavier on the leather, heavier on the spices. Um, I got to tell you, it's nothing yeah. like the initial blast. Like, I feel like I should have waited before I mm. gave it a five because it's yeah. more of like a 6.57 now yeah. um, because it's become very leathery, dry, leathery, and woodsy. Very Definitely. Much. I don't, with spice being number one. I don't get loads of spice. I did. It's interesting to see sweet is that fifth accord. So I do get a little bit of sweetness. Maybe. But I'm very much getting leather and dry wood now. I will say that the notes here, compared to what I've seen from Cartier and on Troll Grantica, as it's often called, uh, these that. notes appear to be less, <laughs> uh, less maybe accurate. Or at least descriptive. Um, One or the other is usually wrong. They're yeah. seldom that they're both right. Yeah. So there's definitely cedar wood. There's definitely leather. Definitely cardamom. Cardamom. Cardamom is a part of the DNA of this, mm -hmm. but it's cardamom and bitter orange together with leather that kind of create the the little ultimate trinity that creates the DNA along with mm -hmm. other things. Oriental notes is obviously not very descriptive. There's benzoin in there. And the benzoin could be where the little bit of sweetness is coming from. And so maybe some other balsams as well. So there's a little bit more. And of, there's other spices that are I'm bumping it up to 6.5 because it got instantly better after I gave it literally like one minute, two minutes. So I think that initial blast just maybe. And look, I may never get that again. Because like the first time I smelled Dylan Blue, I always give poor Dylan Blue as my example. I thought it yeah. smelled terrible. And I could not understand <laughs> how people like that. This is awful. What are they talking about compliments? And after like the fourth or fifth wearing, I was like, I, I must buy a bottle. Okay. Because I yes. had one of the little mini bottles and I put it in a spray atomizer. By the fifth is... time I got around to it, because I kept trying, like, what the hell are people liking about this? That is and so I'm glad hilarious. I gave it multiple chances because sometimes you have to. And that could be the yes. case with this one for me. You never know. I have a you know a few ml here, so I'm gonna give it another chance beyond this. Totally, and maybe if you find safety to wear it on your neck around, you know, and maybe your wife, you won't it, see her for a bit. It's drastically different from that initial blast because I'm getting the, the cardamom's coming in now. Now I'm getting the spice. Yeah, it's a little bit fresher, maybe a little smoother. I still smell a little bit of cumin though, but it's oh, definitely yeah. in the background. It's in the backdrop now. It was all I smelled at first. Now it's in the background. Sure. Yeah, I think it gives it so much character, but it also makes it polarizing. So once again, guys, at your own risk, you know, don't buy it and then come over. Like, this thing sucks. Smells like sweaty asshole. I'm, I mean, like, I told you. Not a good blind buy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it a was a blind buy for me. This was like. Yeah, I'm but you had it. experience with the line. Exactly. So you kind of had an expectation going. Exactly. On. And, you yeah, know, I, you, Cartier is one of your favorite designers, if not your favorite designer brand. Definitely one of the them. You know, it that, changes, right? But yeah, one um, of the top point, five. Point me. being, you know that they usually stick to the DNA with their flankers. So you knew what to expect. You know. Indeed. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, so uh, where is it at? So Jason, uh, it's sold out in less than five minutes. Wow. The Bowl Paradise Garden. It was the first thing to sell out. Hot item. Was... They had the 125 and the 75 in there. Mm. Then less than wow. five minutes, they were both gone. I saw that uh, Chris... Uh, Fragmental put out maybe a first impressions video today. I saw his thumbnail and he did Lamal Lover a few days ago, which I also bought. I bought okay. Oh, the Lover. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, you, you're getting them all, man. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, man, have you smelled uh, Boston Sin Elixir yet? Nope. Mm, that's a good one. Boston yeah, Scent one. Elixir. Oh, yeah. is, that, is it a red bottle? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I haven't smelled that one yet. It smells like spice bomb infrared mixed with the Boston scent DNA because pimento spice at the top is very spicy. It's really huh. good. 
Yeah, for design, it's really, really good. I know it's hard to find a designer that's Justin Copeland approved. But, uh, that's, <laughs> that's one that's got a shot, at least, you know? But it I mean, that feeling's odd. It, it depends on how you define approval. Like, if it smells I mean, good and I would wear it, <laughs> if I would wear it, it's approved, you know? That's but if point. if it's just like basic junk, like, okay, you guys clearly did not try here. It's like, it hardly smells like its predecessor. You're just following a trend, then I'm that's, that's when I'm like, case. whatever. Yeah, it sounds like it's not. Yeah, so not it sounds like it would be approved. Because I, I gotta like give Hugo Boss this. Yeah. The last release, Magnetic, I found to be the ultimate version of what they've done so far in the line. And then their following release, I feel like topped it. Their last mm. two, I felt was the best at the time in the line. Mm. So I gotta give Hugo Boss their due. They're trying. Okay. Boss, boss bottled elixir is great. They are mm. definitely trying. I got to give it to them. The least, the least you would expect to be trying so hard with the slew of boss bottle flankers we've had over the last 20 years. You know, <laughs> they're actually yeah. really trying. I give it to them. I, I totally respect that. Mm -hmm. And I'll have to give them give them some time of day next time I'm out of my local department store. Indeed. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with number four here. We got a dark juice. Okay, so this is the all. main one I want to see what you have to say. This <laughs> is just, I'm going to say it there. You could either break my heart or make me really happy. This is my favorite of the five in this pack. So, wow. no pressure. <laughs> None <laughs> so at if all. If you feel like it's terrible and sweaty asshole, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Term of the day. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. It's busy too. That is nice. Oh, that's what I want to hear. That is nice. Mm. Is there um I almost got like Oris or something, but it now yes. it's kind of there's some Oris in there. Okay. It's got that buttery. There's more florals core. in there. Okay. This doesn't come off if it's floral, it comes off as this like. It's like florals floating in resin. It's not to mm -hmm. say there's resins in here per se, but it's yeah. dark. Yep. It's not fresh, powdery, light springtime. No, it's a heavy ass fragrance. It's heavy, heavy. But it is nuanced. Once mm -hmm. again, just like that first one, it's not hitting me all at once. It's a slow movement when I smell it, which I love that. I love, you know, like Raja, his scents do that yeah. often. I, and, uh, I haven't smelled... I'm loving this, guys. When y'all when y'all hear what this is, some of you are going to be very happy because there's some big this fans is, of this fragrance. This is good. Podcast. Yeah, I mean, when I saw the mm -hmm. color of the juice, I took my first whiff. I smelled that iris, and I'm like, DHP? Mm -mm. And I'm like, no, not quite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you getting any other darker notes to it? Because that the only downside to smelling this one on the paper is it's loaded with dark notes, and it, some of it's going to fall flat. There's no, there's no way it won't. There's something... Yeah, I, I couldn't really pick it apart. There does appear to be something kind of delicious smelling about it. Something maybe a vanilla or something kind of gourmand leaning, but there is. Okay. But that's not what I was looking for. There's something when I show you the note breakdown, you'll understand more. Well, um, but there is there is no vanilla in this fragrance whatsoever. Okay. No tonka or anything like that. Okay. <clears throat> So this will um, supplant what I just said earlier. This is my favorite so far. Good. This is similar to the criteria that you used, which I, I appreciate. It's like if it's not like never smelled this before, then that is like a little bit of a notch down, but that doesn't actually take away from the scent itself. Mm hmm. So I would want to give this a nine. It does a little, little bit. It's like if you take a microscope and you view the scent, like that much of it, I'm smelling a little Dior Ohm vibe, a little bit. Um, and for There's that- a lot that you're not getting on that paper. For you'll sure. See. You'll see. I'm going to give this- I'm just going to go even more fractional. 8.75 for this Good guy. 
I'm good with it. So I this like is Mancera's Black Prestigium. Are There's you serious? Food and leather dominant with iris, violet, spices. There's some rose. All noticeable notes that I'm talking about here. Wow. It's that amazing. Super funny. situational. Crazy heavy. Crazy it doesn't. Heavy. This doesn't smell, it doesn't remind me of a Mancera, honestly, because I don't, to be honest with you, I like the Manceras I have, but while li liking them, they often come off a little bit haphazard for me in terms of how the blend is and how it comes across to the nose. This comes off way smoother. So you can see the juice color. Good that's how, when I saw that when you showed me the juice, I was like, okay, yeah, that's the one. That's yeah. number four. <laughs> here's, here's the thing about Black Prestigium. Um, I have smelled this before, really, but yes, but it was years ago. I'm talking mm -hmm. probably 2018 on my right. channel. I That's think the video years. is still up. I did a video, um, smelling a bunch of samples. I believe this was one of them and I believe I hated it. I thought yeah. it was disgusting. I was Ooh. like, Oh, I could see um, people hating this fragrance though. And I think I wasn't really all about iris at the time and it came off real powdery to me but think, think about this how many since that video how many fragrances do you think you've smelled oh yeah exactly hundreds Your palette has changed yeah it's and night and day night and day from then to now and this so, of adds course, to you, you you crave yeah. different things now yeah you know? and this this adds to and i get the oud now and the rose i feel it now it's coming across as an oud rose scent with other things built around it it smells like Mancera the Oud. Okay. I have that fragrance. Like that was the base and they built upon it with the florals because it literally smells like the same Oud rose mm. with these additional notes and nuances just blended yeah. into it basically. Yeah. Like as yeah. soon as I smelled this, because this was highly recommended, it had been on my bucket list to get for like four or five years. Finally got around to it. Kept getting nudged by a few viewers. Shout outs to Sally. Kept getting nudged, like, hey, man, you need to get it. You're going to love it. That's the one you need. One of the best mm -hmm. iris fragrances I've ever smelled. So much nuance, such a special fragrance. This is show-stopping material right here. This is, you want to talk about start a conversation type of fragrance? Here you go, because it's got that typical Mancera power, too. Yes. I mean, you said it's very situational. Very. So I'm curious, like, how would you wear this yourself in your own day-to-day? evenings out where we're meeting up with people it's going to be a group of people not just like a double date or something like that or not just a date with my wife um this is where we're going to be in an area with a lot of people we're going to be mingling this mm. is that kind of fragrance for me this okay. is a like I said, topic of conversation like i'm not necessarily fishing but i know i'm wearing something they've never smelled before that's going to either smell terrible or very interesting <laughs> yes. because it's so different for them you know and and they will definitely smell it they There's will no, smell it There's there no is no three sprays and they're smelling me from 10 15 feet away it's so interesting it's literally getting stronger on the paper i believe it it's mm -hmm. grabbing my nose and it's just ringing me out right now it's it's beautiful yeah it's a it's great a, blend Justin copeland gives a man sarah nine news outlets and shambles plot twist of the century oh my god well to be to yeah. be precise it was an 8.75 but close enough close. you round up it's right, <laughs> it's right there yes yeah good stuff yeah i'm, I'm surprised that it's a man sarah I'm a Truly. big Man Sarah fan, as you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the whole collection. Pretty no, much. I got, a, I got like 40 of them, though. I've I added like, since we did that video, I've got a lot more. I've got probably like 12 or 15 more since we did oh, that. Oh, my thing. gosh. Yeah. I'm always buying new Man Sarah's. I'm so old. curious. I just want to know. I'm going to look them up on line to see. Now, apparently, at least in Fragrantica, you know, on their little brand page, Mm -hmm. It says they have 87 perfumes in at least their database. On so I've got it, almost half of them then. Yes, you do, my friend. I, mean, I, just bought, I just bought Black Noir a little while ago. Well, their newest release. <laughs> yeah, because they only have fragrances through 2023 so far, but that's, I guess, is. Yeah, you which know, I've tried. I have, I have a, somebody sent me a decant of Black Noir. It's their newest release, and I did yeah. try it. It's a, it's a powdery black leather. Huh. Oh, okay. yeah. Very much a black leather accord. 
Okay. Beautiful. Soft so and powdery you, and smooth. So I like, yeah, I need a bottle of this one. It's, it's easy to say that you have way above average what the average person has from the house for sure. If for whatever reason, you know, times mm -hmm. came to a tough spot, God forbid, and you needed to go work somewhere you could go work for mancera you could be a, a rep and you would know I everything about and i would be very well versed <laughs> on the products yes, yes um, i would have to say based on having in the realm of 60 perfumes from pierre montal i think he's my favorite perfumer wow i guess i mean i can't stop buying his work i mean the numbers they scream numbers don't lie right <laughs> I guess okay. he's my favorite perfumer. And that man, I mean, I feel like the amount of perfumes he has put out, he doesn't do anything else. He perfumes while he eats. He perfumes in his sleep. He perfumes. He's got know, the having... magnetic blender next to his plate. Yeah, eating. seriously. <laughs> like that man, several a year. It's like, how are you putting these things out? This man is a monster. He has gotten better at not doing a dozen perfumes a year, though. He does, <laughs> a, few. He does, does a few. Just very, he's a very inspired man. He's, oh, I got another idea. I got another idea. We're going with gold. Okay. We're going with the gold. All right. The bunch. Okay. So we're going on top of the forearm here. Two sprays. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. I'm going to wait until I get closer. Let me wave it off because you never know. I thought sweaty asshole with the last one on the. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a moment. You know? Yes. That's actually quite pleasant. This one should be a lot easier to smell than yeah, maybe all of them. Very, very far. pleasant fragrance versus the others. It's hard to depict what I'm getting here. There's like a fruitiness that's a little tart, but not all that sweet. Okay. I don't know if I'm wildly off or not, but I almost get like a juniper berry aromatic, slight fruity tone to it. Like I do get, you know, sometimes juniper berries will actually have a berry fruity, but not sweet feel. That's kind of what I feel like I'm getting here. I could see that. There's an astringence to the scent profile, almost like mm. a vodka tonic like accord. Even though it's okay. not necessarily all that boozy smelling to me, that's not what I mean, but like kind of mm. that crisp, kind of sharp, liquidy type of like I'm trying to find the words to articulate what I'm getting here. There's a spiciness here that comes across a little mm -hmm. peppery. Okay. Very peppery. And a tad woodsy, but nothing too crazy. It doesn't smell deep. It smells very straightforward. It's not a real deep scent. I don't. I doubt it's going to be linear, but I also feel like it's not going to develop a lot. I feel like the nuance change will be subtle. Yes, definitely a simple profile for sure. Very enjoyable though. Highly wearable daytime year round. I don't feel like it's too yes. heavy for the heat, but it's also got enough density to it. To, I think if you want something that's not real heavy in the cold, you could wear this. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a great everyday masculine grown man scent profile here. This not for the kids that are looking for the metallics and the aquatics and stuff like that. Definitely. I yeah, it's like you... 8.5. Hmm. I like the wearability factor of this. Very wearable. That always Definitely. gets a bump in, in points for me. When the wearability's up there, that yeah. usually gets a bump in the score. I can totally appreciate that. Yeah, I like this. 8.5 out of 10. What are we smelling? Lovely. So this is one you don't hear a ton of talk about these days, but they are, you know, this brand is on the rise, kind of a re-rise, so to speak. This is Winter mm. from Dasein. Mm -hmm. And it's I've a simple scent. Brand. Yeah, it's a simple scent profile, but you described it pretty well. It's greens and woods. There's spruce, pine. You know, some kind of wood in there. Cardamom is a pretty heavy. Black cardamom. Yeah, cardamom is right in there. And that Ooh, is the spiciness. Resonant, fresh. I was kind of getting this juniper berry-like feel, but the, the pine and the spruce, I think, yes. is what I was getting here. That stingy yeah. type of, you know what? Like, I was trying to find the right way to articulate what I was smelling, but that makes sense now that I see that. Yeah, it's it's very foresty. 
You know, this yeah. to me smells like you're in a forest on a cool spring morning. It's peppery you know? though. Like the way these yeah. greens come across, like spicy being the fifth accord, it's definitely yeah. got a peppery tone to it. Yeah. But yeah, I find it simple, but distinctive. It doesn't mm -hmm. smell exactly like a lot of other things. It has specificity to it. But yeah, you're right. It does not change a ton on the skin. Mm -hmm. It stays mostly fresh and maybe gets it's a little woodier. Uh, but it's it's an easy wear. And, you know, the name would have you think, oh, it's for the winter. It's like, no, it's no, this it's is very meant much... to depict the feeling of winter. But you can wear this anytime. If I was to put it in an ideal scenario season wise, transitional season, spring, fall. Totally. I think are best situation. Yeah. It doesn't feel like a summary profile, like a summary but it's also personality. Not heavy, cold, like being exactly. named winter doesn't really make all that much sense. But exactly, like I was saying before, that's what makes sense with the transitional seasons. Because hotter days, it'll totally work. Cooler days, it'll totally work. Yeah, yeah. And they have another one, um, which is called Winter Nights. It's actually that little black one down in the popular section. I almost sent you this one, but I wanted you to start with Ooh, the OG smoky. as Forest well, and it. Is. And it's basically like the same scent, but like with the, this campfire feel. It's smoky and darker and a, maybe a little sweeter, and but still has that green, oh. piney kind of foresty feel. Really, really nice. I do. I really like this one, though. I'd be interested in getting a yeah. bottle of this. I do. It's really good like stuff. It. It's good stuff. Yeah, this maybe spend some time with it. something I would get some joy out of, for sure. I'm going to have to look into them. You have a discount code with them or anything like that? No. I do not. Yeah, no codes. I don't get any kickbacks or anything with them. Um, I was so. going to say, if you do, I'll order it through you so you can make it. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm dead serious. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, nothing with them. Uh, they just, we, we've we got a good little relationship and I've been just trying to help them out. Um, it's over really the good. A couple of years. This, this so. is, this is a great, I think this was a good one for you to introduce the brand to me because mm. I've never found anything from the brand. This is, this is definitely my type of style, my personality for what I gravitate towards. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful one. And um, yeah, the brand, uh, in fact, Winter Nights was perfumed by the person who did this one, who's the one who started the brand. I can't remember her name now. In addition, with, uh, Samantha with, Raider. That's her with Josh Meyer. Josh Meyer, who is the perfumer for Imaginary Authors. So mm -hmm. they actually collaborated on Winter Nights. Um, but this one is the, the OG. It's good. It's really nice. It's really good. I would highly recommend getting a sample and trying this one. It's highly wearable, as I spoke before, but it also does not at all remind me of another fragrance. Totally. Yeah, I feel the but same. Unique, unique and highly wearable. I mean, that's always going to be a high score for me. It's not an easy balance to strike, but when you no. find it, it's like, oh, this is good. Not at this stage. When there's thousands yeah. of perfumes coming out year on year. Yeah. Because it's literally <laughs> across the whole spectrum. It's four digits on what's coming out every year, guys. Seriously. Stuff you've heard of, stuff you haven't heard of. There's, there's a lot. It's unreal. Yeah. What do you have next, sir? Well, the final one, number five. Okay. Sad that we're coming up to the end here. Okay. But let's see what number five has to say. Let me go ahead and pull the notes up. All righty. So intrigued here. They've gotten better and better in terms of the ones I've been smelling from you um, in numerical order, which is so funny. Oh, that's a good sound. What in the world? Oh, that, I don't know if that's good or bad. No, this is. I hate Man. that I have to. So they're actually that this fragrance, but in particular, is not on Parfumo. I hate to use Trobrantica, but ah, uh, but I'm well, have there's to. always base notes if needed. Yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, this yeah. is interesting. I feel like this is your personality. This I've been wanting you to smell this for a while now. For a while, I've spoken to you about this one, asking if you had tried it. Okay. I think twice over the last like two years, year and a half, something like that. Let me see if I can describe what I think I'm smelling. I'm getting this burning wood. It's to me, I, yeah, I get this like 
charry burning wood with a little bit of green in it. Just a little bit of green? Maybe quite green. Pretty piney. It'd be very piney on skin. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of green. It's, in it. it's very authentic. It's very realistic smelling. Are quite artistic, honestly. It's a storytelling fragrance. Yeah. Um, There's maybe a, a touch of theme. a touch of a sweetness, but it's almost like tree sap in a way. It's like more of this tree based. Totally, totally get it because it's very woodsy, very green. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. You'll yeah. See. Yeah. It's, it's. I mean, the specificity, the authenticity, the realism, the artistry. It's all here. I'm intrigued, and more than anything, I'm intrigued to smell this not in front of my face. Because I can see this being very enrapturing in the air. Just like you're just constantly day, smelling. Yeah, <laughs> you're just constantly smelling this aroma that you have not really smelled. And every time you get it, you're like, your attention's drawn to it. Interesting. This is a good one. This is the one that I thought, and I'm glad you did it last, I thought would be most suited for you specifically. Okay. They're all personal favorites of mine, but if like this is the one, this is why in the past, you when I show you what it is, you're like, yeah, you have asked me about that because I feel like you. Yes. Really I, I have a, a very, very vague mm -hmm. memory of you telling me, telling me about a fragrance that was green, asking me if I had smelled it. I don't remotely remember what and it the was. the bottle's not green at all. You'll see. Okay. Nor is the name. <clears throat> I'm liking it more. First spray was very smoky. It's yes. tailing off a little bit. Becoming rounder. So this particular leather accords a smoky leather. Okay, so it That's is leather. That's the base of this fragrance. It's a very particular smoky leather accord. Man, this is nice. This like is a not salad. a lectimus, is it? No. Okay. It is not. This is so interesting, and it's becoming more wearable to me as it dries. It's At fantastic. first, I was like, I don't know. But this is like, okay. Um, I can't say it is my indisputed favorite. I would, for a different reason. You know what? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Be in your truth, sir. I'm going to go nine. We have the winner for him. By a small margin, I'm going to go nine just because it is very, very unlike what I've mm -hmm. experienced in terms of just the amalgamation. There's elements. So it's like, yeah, you smell pine and stuff. But put together, I'm like, this is its own thing. And it's just becoming more approachable as I smell it. So what it's do we got? It's a little dry, woodsy, leathery, very green and smoky. It is M. Mikalev's Red Colorado. Oh, okay. I've asked you wow. about this a few times because I know you've you've collaborated with the brand, and I'm like, yes. "Did they ever see you Colorado?" Man, I gotta I say, this is did. this is much more artistic than I was expecting mm -hmm. out of this fragrance. It's all about the desert area in Colorado, the valleys in the desert. There's a sand red red sand desert area right outside the mountains where I lived. Okay. It came with leather tassels, and it's all about this ranch. Wow, theme. yeah. Yeah. Very, very good. Very good from them. And you can see with the notes here, it's loaded with greens, woods, and the leather accord. The sweet you're getting is the touch of vanilla, but it's all about greens, woods, and the smoke comes from wow. whatever notes they jumbled to make this leather accord. It's dry and smoky. Man, it's so funny that. You put this in here. For some reason, green is kind of what I'm being drawn to this year. Same. Uh, green notes, green accords, uh, green profiles. I'm really drawn to it for whatever reason. So <clears throat> this one falls in line with kind of where my tastes are leaning right now. Um, I want to get it on skin and get the, the real experience. I but man, this is cool. Knowing you and your taste, when you wear this on skin, you're going to love it. This is the one that I thought for sure, if there's one he would potentially want a bottle of, it would be this one. Obviously, yet to be determined, but yes. Yeah. Totally. I'm not surprised that you, 
I would have been shocked if you didn't like it as much as you like it, honestly. It was it a lot at first. Your personality. Yeah. Because I think of fragrances like Bottega Veneta Porum was mentioned in the chat a minute ago. Just a lot of these leathery green fragrances that you like to wear. Woody dominant. This. Yes. This, this is, is like kind of style. this is kind of Bottega Veneta Porum on steroids. Very much. Yeah. For sure. It has a lot yeah. of the same elements. Pine, fur, leather. But it's just like to the nth degree and very wow. high quality it's like very the niche version yeah. so to speak i would say even though that line is great and, and different in its own right but wow good stuff now i can't say how it is for sebastian but i definitely don't get anything fishy as it dries on skin my man if anything it gets a little ambery on skin mm. uh, like maybe there's a little benzoins part of what makes that leather okay. cord yeah nice Beautiful. Yeah. Great choice, man. I have been wanting to try that one. Um, in fact, Mika left. They reached out to me, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and said they were going to send the new Desir Toxic Intense. But I haven't heard anything since. I'm really curious. So we'll see if that comes in. But I'm a big fan of the original. So but that Red Colorado, that's some good stuff. Yeah, that is good stuff. Good. They did a great job, man. So we have this like lilac, light purple, almost pinkish hue. It's hard to tell in my particular lighting. It's the last one. Okay. Yes, indeed. This one is a, it's a hitter. So uh -oh. brace yourself. No uh -oh. guarantees with this one. I don't know what you're going to think. Well, as long as it doesn't smell like sweaty asshole. <laughs> it shouldn't. I don't know if it'll be enrapturing or not. Okay. <laughs> I hope it did. <laughs> Word of the day. Yes. Phrase of the day and word of the day. Sweaty right. asshole and enrapturing. <laughs> Put them together, yes. This is an earthy green. Mm -hmm. But there's an aromatic appeal at the top of it. But you can tell it's densely earthy and green at its core. Like as it dries, it's going to become more and more about that. That's what I get immediately when I smell it. Hmm. Like it's got a dirty earth tone to it. Totally. And not just like a dirty patchouli. There's mm -hmm. more to it than that, which very well could be a dirty patchouli in here as well, but probably some vetiver that's not coming across all that smoky. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think it's a Haitian vetiver. Those are that's typically a fresher vetiver. Sure. Something fruity. Mm-hmm. Something fruity, man. An I love earthy vetiver, dirt, dirt smell for sure. That may not sound appealing because I'm just saying <laughs> dirt. But there's a, it's a, it's a kind of a regal scent profile. This totally. is a more situational fragrance. If I was to wear it, I'm not saying it's not my style. It's extremely situational for me. I got to be in the mood for something like this. This isn't something that I wake up and be like, I would love to wear this today. <laughs> I've got to have yes. a particular situation to yes. where it'd be like, what can I wear that's different? Yes. That's where this would fall for me. Totally. I get it. I do respect and appreciate this, though it has a lower wearability for me in my daily life. I would say in general, that's probably yeah. the case. Low, yeah. Lower wearability factor, but I'm not going to knock it for that. Hmm. I usually just boost when I'll usually give a half a point if it's highly wearable from, from sure, me. but I won't take away if it's more situational. It just means that it's more special. That's Got like it. The special fragrance. Yeah. That's basically what it comes down to. Dirty, earthy, green, a little woodsy, you aromatic. Described touch it very green. well. Described um, it very well. 7.5 out of 10. It's still okay. a very good fragrance. Just a very, very situational fragrance for me. I will say that is perhaps a little higher than I expected. Really? I mean, yeah. I've yeah, been more I mean. into the earthy greens lately, man. Like the last few months, mm. I've really gotten a lot more of the Like salt and vetiver, finally got around to it. It smells like cut grass. Remember all the four sure or smell that one? Yes. Love it. I want a bottle. That stuff is, I've never you, smelled vetiver like that. You know that. better than anyone. I've told you a bunch of times, oh, no, I don't even want to bother trying that. I'm going to hate it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You're really coming around to some vetiver, some heavy right. vetiver. Heavy vetivers, yeah. Yes. So what are we smelling? Well, you. this is more um, evidence that you are coming around to heavy vetiver. This is Incident Diplomatique from Javoy. 
This is one of my favorite vetiver fragrances. And you're right. It is not for everyone. It is no. quite situational. It is Haitian vetiver, but there's also Java. Java. Java's okay. in there, too. The fruitiness, a little bit of Mandarin. Vetiver. That's normally on the fresher side. The way it's coming together to me, I don't know what this is. And let oh, me know if you get this. For some reason, this smells <clears throat> wet. It almost Damp? smells yeah. like, yeah, there's like, it's like the woods are like, soaked or dripping in something almost even like a booziness to my nose but there's no I definitely booze. get a damp earthy tone that makes all the sense and it's the patchouli so you weren't kidding you weren't off about the patchouli there's mm -hmm. definitely patchouli and i think that contributes to the dampness mm -hmm. but it, it's a little ashy and and a little bit smoky but i find that it, it can be kind of smooth smoke. yeah a little bit smoky yeah. it can be a little yeah. smooth though it's quite smooth i think it's really elegant i think it is very refined, kind of put together. Um, this is a vetiver I would not go near in the summertime. You know, oh, God, this would be funky yeah. and nasty in the heat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Grace is not yet sold on this just yet. Um, I think she's come around to it since we've it's very been smooth. together. Uh, but man, I I love this stuff. I don't know what it is. I I've loved it from first sniff, even. This, I first smelled it like five years ago and was just drawn to it from a decant. Um, even though at the time, like there's other vetivers like Sultan vetiver that I could not handle uh, at the time, but I love this stuff now. Yeah, I've I, I've come along quite a bit to the darker vetivers. Like the, you, you've heard me say it, there was a time when they smelled like rope spray. Certain ones, <laughs> I, yeah. I just couldn't do it, and it's proof that it's just my palate has changed and developed because the freight it's the same skin chemistry i'm sure what's changed is the the development of my sense of smell and what appears for sure to for sure <clears throat> yeah it's just kind of the natural process of you smelling like a lot of stuff you know so yeah i mean i i think i was expecting maybe a six at best no, no, I think 7.5, but it'd be more situational. I could see this being a darling in the fall, on a crisp fall day, yes, like in the totally. low 70s or high 60s. Totally. You know? Yeah. And it's pretty strong, so you don't need much of it. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know? Not necessarily super dressed up, but not a t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little, little bit more sophisticated. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's great when you don't spray too much of it. I wouldn't spray more than four to five times at the most with this what what are you talking about just yesterday michelle did a short showing that 16 sprays of savage edt is 1.5 ml and that's what you should spray what are you talking about just yesterday i saw her tell us that <laughs> shout out to michelle like she said don't be a sissy sprayer <sighs> 16 I'm oh i get it yes 16 yeah. 16 yes yeah, she literally sprays. sprayed it into a measured decant it was 1.5 ml for 16 sprays of savage edt yeah it's like okay well we know what it looks like <laughs> but what does that smell like that's my question <laughs> that's a lot of savage man that's a lot of that's savage lot like of yeah savage. you can you can contain it in this much but does that actually represent what the heck is going to smell like because i look that's at that 1.5 ml and think about if i was to just pour that on my neck Dump and that. run all the way down my back to the crack of my ass, <laughs> wouldn't that overwhelm me with that smell you know that's a lot of liquid to put on your that's skin yeah and especially of a it's it's potent stuff it's not a, a weak juice so look, you don't there, old man tea yeah look, totally. when i do my my sin of the day um shorts videos certain fragrances four or five sprays around the neck a lot of the times and I get yeah. called a pissy sprayer and stuff like that. And look, to each their own. If you want to spray heavy and be that guy, you spray heavy and be that guy. You go right ahead. You be that I guy. I don't like to soak myself out. That's the mainly one thing, what it is. It's more about one my thing, own wearing experience. Yeah. You know, the one thing I'll say, in, in my experience, and this is just me, mm -hmm. when it comes to the general public, mm -hmm. the people you run into on a day-to-day -day who don't give a damn about fragrances but mm -hmm. can appreciate a good smell, yeah. Most of them, if they're put off by anything, they're put off by pungency, not by scent itself. So that means you could put this on. If you put this on three times, three sprays of this and it's not overwhelming, most people are actually going to find it pleasant. Mm -hmm. But when it once it becomes strong and it's the only thing that they can smell, it doesn't matter what it is, you could overspray Lamal on yourself no matter how sexy people say it is 
you spray 25 times, you reek. Nobody cares because it's like that's too strong. So many people don't want strong smells, even if it's a little weird. You can get away with it as long as you don't overspray it. You can get away with a lot more than you might think as long as it's not grabbing people by the face. You know, one of the reasons I don't go crazy with the sprayer, like I said, I don't like to ruin my own wearing experience, but things overwhelm my wife pretty easily. It's less mm. is more around my wife, especially when it's a strong fragrance already. Yes. That's where I got in the habit of two, three, four spray. Like I get I always give the infamous story of Amouage Enclave. One spray is a lot better. <laughs> You know, yes. If we're getting in the car to go somewhere and I got an enclave on, I better roll the windows down. Before yes. I her eyes, it's so strong. Or you know? put it on an hour before. <laughs> More than that. Put yeah. it on the day before. Yes. <laughs> put it on yesterday. Haven't showered. Okay, we're ready to go. Yeah. I've yeah. been sitting it's, here in my room not touching scent, anything. Baby, I promise. It's a skin yeah. scent. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, guys. I mean, obviously, you you, you want to wear something that you love. Like, don't just go buy this because, well, Justin said I should just spray a little bit less of it and it should still be pleasant. Like, no, you got to love it. Don't put it on your skin if you don't love it, obviously. But if you are going to take the plunge, just know that you can probably get away with more than you think by not overdoing it. Be more conservative. Trust me, people will smell you depending on the scent. This stuff is no slouch. People will smell it. And that goes for even if you can't. Like, that's just how it is. Fair, fair point. Fair point. Yeah. Do you have a little bit of time for some questions? Of course. Yeah, because we actually finished this sooner than I thought. We're hour 36. I figured we'd be around two hours at this point. Yeah, I, I budgeted out about two hours. So I got, yeah, another 20 minutes to call. Sure, see, I said, I've heard the word ass a lot more times than I expected this evening. <laughs> Just heard it been, again. You've been in my live streams before, sir. I have a potty mouth and I'm actually res quite restrained. <laughs> Justin spent you, a lot of time around me. Oh <laughs> yeah, potty mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you know you keep it clean. It's all right. <laughs> in the dreams, I try to. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, content, I try my best to not curse. It's it's a potty that you keep clean. That's what I'm saying. It's not a dirty potty. That's a good. You know point. what I mean? <laughs> I like, I like the way you said that, so. Clorox is is in there. Roy said, if you do 16 sprays of Sauvage, you should be considered a menace to society. And by the way, guys, that I'm totally joking around clowning with Michelle. She totally loved Michelle. She's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Just giving her a hard time because I saw yeah. that yesterday and I've been waiting on the right spot to make a joke about it. And it presented itself. Sheesh. 16 sprays. <laughs> yeah. so Paul said, Sir Siaz needs to rewatch and take a drink every time I say ass. Well, that'll be a fun night. <laughs> five sprays is a great general starting point i'll typically only do more sprays if it's a light summer scent like aqua de parma bergamotto de calabria that makes sense yeah, that makes context sense. is everything i i'm typically like that as well john the fresher the fragrance the more i feel like i need to just to get a, a good wearing experience out of it because again it always circles back to my own personal wearing experience mm -hmm. how others are going to interpret what i'm wearing is secondary to me i wear them for me first you know, anything exactly. beyond, obviously the next opinion I care about most is how is my wife going to feel about this? Cause that's the person I'm around the most as Justin's around grace the most. I'm sure he takes her into consideration with certain wearings for sure, you know, but yeah, four to five sprays is a good rule of thumb. Usually that's just right for most fragrances that are pretty potent. That might even be a little much for certain ones. Like there's certain fragrances that I actually dial it back from five because they're just, mm, so cool, you know, same same yeah if I, it's like if i could smell it i'll take as little as needed to where i can smell it and i'm good you know the, as the least possible and if that's like four sprays cool great gucci advice i don't know what that means exactly <laughs> but gucci what a what a strange combination of words but i assume he's looking for some or he might advice. be telling us it's great advice Oh, or that too. It yeah. could be that Gucci slang for that too. That's older my, slang, but it's still slang. Yes, my friend, you might. Yeah, you might have to elaborate, but maybe we got it. Ross might be right. If I, so, I think I'm walking the path here. Yeah. What does Menacee of Ver Empire, Empire smell like? I don't know. I've never tried it. You have Mezen Seer, I haven't Mezen experienced Seer. any from Mezen Seer. That's actually Alberto Marias's brand. Mm, I didn't know um, that. That's his own personal brand, and I have yet to smell any of them, but a lot of them look Same. really nice. 
Yeah, got to try them. Well, Justin ever tried Vanille Havan, and I'm not going to try to butcher the name. I have not tried anything from that brand. I've had a lot of people asking about that one in particular, so I got to get up on it. Jeff says, you two guys together are gold. Smiling and laughing with you both. Love the blind smelling rate. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks for sure hanging out. I appreciate that, Jeff. Just, like I said in the intro, this is one of my favorite humans on the planet. I love when I get to do anything with Justin. Man, never often enough, dude. I agree. <laughs> I agree that we guys will do this shoulder to shoulder again sooner rather than later. That I promise. Yes, that, exactly. That's not the end of our standing side by side smell and rate videos. Yes. More to totally. come in the future. For sure. So he's he's asking more about men's and seer. So this is Terrence. No, By the way, I forgot to acknowledge you earlier in the chat, Terrence. It's one of my wrestling buddies here on the internet. Okay, so awesome. That's a wrestling thing I'm doing right now. <laughs> so here's a good one for you. What's Justin's top three overrated niche brands? Man, he's just trying trouble. to get me to get in trouble here. That's what trying to is. get me to piss people off. Ah, oh. is if, if we really want it, I can do it. But you guys got to promise not to get mad. Okay. Well, I'm look, do it. Anybody that's in my live chat, if you're here with with sensitive feelings, you, you're not a regular on my channel. So <laughs> that's what. <I'll> say. <laughs> okay. Break some hearts, well, Justin. Overrated. Well, let me see here. The first one that comes to mind, and let me just l little bit of preface. Overrated does not mean not good, mm -hmm. right? I'm just trying to. I'm not saying that, oh, these brands have nothing good from them. I don't like anything from them. No, these brands, I'm going to say, I have fragrances from them. And some of them I enjoy. But relative to how hyped they are, I'm just like, they're not, okay, okay, sure. But anyway, first brand that comes to mind is Anisio for me. Anisio okay. does, doesn't wow me. Um, again, good. Some good stuff. Pleasant stuff easy to wear attractive but for some reason i mean there's there's been some that i like more than others definitely but my experience with some of them is just kind of it's almost there but it's missing something it's like almost like they're hollow in a way and i'm just like ah, i'm just looking for a little bit more um but again not bad stuff um i've never had a fragrance i've smelled from them that moved me to feel like i had to have a bottle so i mm. echo your sentiment and i've smelled must therapy you were with me in the smelling rate i gave it like a four i didn't even like yeah um, i but paragon i've smelled once was pretty good side effect atomic rose they're great fragrances yeah Oud for greatness they're all oud for happiness i thought was kind of underwhelming but mm -hmm. there's some really good stuff but i never felt like i need that mm. so. okay yeah, I feel the same way. Um, some of them are, are good. I would wear them from time to time, but sure. I might choose something else over them. Um, another one. <clears throat> Again, this is just me, my little perspective. I'm not trying to shoot any shots off. You're good, dude. You're good. It's just but, personal taste. Yes. In my little world, <clears throat> I find, I'm sorry, man, man, Sarah. For it's me okay. I, I knew that was coming. Yes. Mancera like for me that. is, I don't, there's nothing I dislike about them. Again, in, in a similar way to Anusio, they just don't get to the finish line for me. It's just like that car is going down the track and it's like, you know what? That's far mm -hmm. enough. And I'm like, oh, no, you're almost, you're almost there. Um, I would say if I think about the ones that I've smelled and really enjoy, Cedra Boise, can't go wrong. Sure. Um, the intense is good too. I feel like I still prefer the OG. Um, Same. I like, if I had to pick one, I prefer the original. Yeah. Slightly. I like, I like Oud Lemon Mint. That one is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, I do like Kumquat Wood. That you one's nice. like Black Prestigium. That one, yeah, surprised <laughs> me. I didn't even, I couldn't tell you it was Mansara until it was revealed. So there are some that, you know, I like them. Um, but similar to Anisio, I have other fragrances from other br niche brands that I could compare some of my favorites to Mansara, and I might pick those first more often than not. Um, and I know Mansara is, you know, part of their, their uh, luster is the fact that they're very easily accessible as a niche brand for just going out and scooping up several bottles at discounters. You can find 
easily find each one for a hundred dollars or less a lot of the time most of them in the 70 dollar range for 120 ml. yeah you can build and, a very diverse collection that's what i appreciate so much yeah about them, the value yeah you know and and um i know a lot of people also value them because they tend to perform and when people are buying niche they're like well if i'm buying niche that should equal i'm buying strong performance and i you know to be honest with you i can't even say it's the fragrances themselves that have given me this taste in my mouth it's i think it's and i'm just i'm not trying to be a scrooge here so sorry guys it's a little bit of the ethos behind it of of that particular uh strain of thought which is like if i'm gonna buy niche it needs to perform and i'm just like why? that's disappointing for me because some of my favorite niche fragrances are the photorealistic citruses that don't last you know but there be like yeah. I, I I think Aqua de Parma, the Blue Mediterraneo line. There's yeah. not a myth in the line. I have seven or eight fragrances in the line, and they're all beautiful, and they're three or four hour fragrances at best, you know. Yeah. Or, you know, and I and I get it. I understand where <clears throat> people are coming from with that because it's like, well, I'm spending this money. I want to feel like every dollar I spent is worth it, and I'm experiencing every dollar. Um, and I just, you know, I, I've combated that several times in different ways and to the point where it's like, I don't see fragrances as products in the same way I would see some other usable um, item or consumable item, you know, um, because just of what they're intended to do. It's an experience. You literally buy an experience. It's invisible. You put it on aside from the presentation and from there, it's like it's a part of you. It's not like getting in a car and now like you're driving a product around. It's not like getting a brand new iPhone or whatever. And you have a product that you're using with features and stuff. It's not a product with features. But I feel like it's treated that way because what it takes to get it is the same thing, which is money. You pay money for stuff. And it's like, well, if I'm paying money to get a fast car that has features and expectations. And when I paid the same kind of money to get a fragrance, I should get features out of it. And it's like, not really. <laughs> That's I just, assist. I you know, I assist with my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't want to turn this into a whole lecture, but that's just the way I see it. And I think that is kind of tainted. You how got I one see... more brand. Gosh, dang <laughs> you got, you only got two. I didn't let I'm, it I'm already digging myself this hole here. Let me see uh oh, i'm just man. gonna commit Fine. let me see the final the third fragrance brand Ooh. Mm. <sighs> okay so once again overrated does not mean dislike does not mean not good this Love brand i'm i'm gonna say this brand and i have several of their fragrances probably mm -hmm. at least 10 and most of those 10 i really enjoy so it's not based on my experience with them it's based on what i see that is giving me this answer and that is part from the marley um for the prices that they go for the skyrocketing prices let's just say okay. that um, for some of the scent profiles i they're not for me that's not like Oh my gosh, this is supreme niche perfumery here. Because like, not. yeah, I mean, let's be honest they're not, here. They're not. The bottles are stunning. Yes, gorgeous. And I feel like that's a lot of what you pay for. But again, that being said, I love I love Sedley. I love Harry. Oh, I love Sedley. you know, know Laden exclusive. I love Pegasus exclusive. There's so many of them that I enjoy the wearing experience. But just Same. again, the the what I see across. When it's like these are the ultimate ones you have to get these are the top niche brands to look into as a beginner blah 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 and i'm like first of all yes they're accessible scent wise but they're not even the most accessible financially because they're really freaking expensive <laughs> when you look at them compared to some other brands other niche and indie brands that are interesting actually truly you know niche and even more affordable like there's a ton of those out there but they get compliments. They're they're likable, and I know that plays into why they are so heavily, you know, recommended. It's like, oh man, if you want to get in the niche, apart from Marley Layden, wearability—that's that's your ticket. And it's like wearable profiles, you know, totally. And it's like I get that, 
I get that. Um, but you know, you can get wearability out of some great designer fragrances. You oh, know, yeah. you, if you're going to step in the niche, like I'm not going to say th they're not worth looking into. I think they're totally worth trying. And again, I like many of them. But if if that is if it's like, man, I just want niche. It's like and I want it to be wearable. It's like, well, there's some great designers that do that if that's what you want. Now, if you want to broaden your horizons and like I want to smell something I haven't smelled before. The two brands I just I guess maybe the three brands I just maybe man, Sarah has some. They got some other stuff in there, some more artistic leaning stuff. I mean, obviously a large variety, large oh, variety, yeah. huge you like library. Rose, that's a great brand. Huge like library, yes, <laughs> huge library with some, you know, some different tastes involved. Um, and that's what you know. In in that regard, ironically enough, if someone were to say, "Oh, I need an affordable niche brand that I want to like dip my toe into," I even though I consider them a little overrated, I would actually recommend Mansara. I'd say, yeah, sure. They got such a huge library. They got a lot of things that I actually do consider like, this is a little different. This is actually kind of like, hmm, this is going to like widen your nose for lack of a better term. Um, then I could I could definitely recommend it. Now, you know, is Cedrop Boise as good as they say? Like, I think it is because it gets compliments. If it didn't get compliments, would it be as good as they say? I, I mean, I would hope so for you personally, whoever you are. I would me, hope yeah. it is because I, I I do enjoy it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it, but that's not what keeps me coming back to it. Um, so, again, there's I know there's a lot of layers at play and I didn't mean to make this all philosophical and, and but I knew I was going to dig myself a little hole. And I'm like, let me just make the best out of this little hole. I'm digging. No hole dug. This is why people ask. Because, I mean, this is, this is, you know, this is looking for the smoke kind of question. Because oh, why? Yeah. yeah, this, you were asking for a confused boat lake. You were asking for it. Listen, so would it be me and you on a live stream if we didn't find a little fire to walk through? <laughs> exactly. Find a little bit of fire. Totally. So here's yeah. one for you. Have you ever tried Liquids Imaginaires? If not, they're artistic and they put stories in each fragrance. It's the name in English, Imaginary Liquids. I have tried. A, yes, I've tried a couple of them. Um, I own one of them, which is uh, it's one of the newer ones. I think it came out a year or two ago. It's just called Liquid Gold. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful. It's kind of like this solar note, almost creamy, slightly beachy sweet scent but there's a little bit more to it than that and there's another one i've tried in the past that i can't even remember the name of it but that one actually reminded me a little bit of black afghanal which i was a i liked it but i was a little disappointed i'm like this kind of smells like black black afghanal um but i like what i've smelled thus far and i need to try more of them because uh, i hear some great things about some that i haven't tried yet yeah i don't have any experience with them there's just so much out there man it's too much, man. <laughs> it's never ending. Sir C.I. says, you guys are doing a flex off, right? I was under the impression the gun show was set to start after <laughs> what in the world. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, this is what I get for showing that picture. You hit the tricep pose. <laughs> man, no, no flex off. Unnecessary. Ross is in yeah. the gym nine days a week. So this that is what it is. 32 hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Second Soul and even Mystique are my two favorite fragrances in my collection. Well, Dilly, we sure appreciate that. Man. Yes. Glad, glad to get some joy out of them. Glad you dig them. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because we got really behind with that last top three. Yeah. I mean, again, it was, he handed me a shovel. I'm like, is this what you want? All right. <laughs> hey, it, was a good topic. it was a good little, yeah. little brief moment to have a conversation. Yeah. So let's see. Let me try to find something good here. Scrolling down. Wow. We got way behind. I believe Here's it. one from Roy. What I love about PDM is that they're usually available for very cheap in the secondhand market due to their popularity. A lot of people blind buy. It's a fair point. Hmm. I mean, I don't know exactly how we are defining very cheap uh, because even on secondhand, I'll see them in the $200 range, maybe a hair really? below that. Yeah. Damn. But I mean, I'm sure it changes all the time. But if you're finding great prices, Roy, awesome. <laughs> good on you here's one <laughs> cody wants to know what what's our top five creeds i'm really liking the decants i got and i want to try some more from the house would you like to start us off with a aside from royal oud your favorite 
So man. Royal Oud's his favorite, by the way. You know, uh, it's, I have five for sure, but in terms of them having absolute placement for every day of my life moving forward, it's always going to shuffle. Mm -hmm. uh, because Royal Oud, while I do consider it like objectively in my world amazing, it's not going to be my first choice every time I'm going to go for a creed. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I'm in the mood for a different vibe, you know. So, but just spouting off my top five in no order, definitely Royal Oud, lovely scent. Um, I love um, Original Vetiver, been really digging that. I'm as so ready late. to get a bottle of that too. I sprayed it the other day on my hand again. I still need yeah. to get it. It's it's, so it's beautiful. Good. It's yeah. beautiful. Um, I am still a huge fan of Viking. That's a low polarizing, but I'm a I'm a mm. fan. Um, original Santal is in the top five as well. And I would God, it's tough. People are waiting on Aventus. It's in neither of our top five. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in the top five. It, it might be number six. Uh, and I do love it, and I have a lot of history with it. But that fifth spot is between two. Um, I would say, sheesh, gosh. So really, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say Millicene Imperial. That's fair. So five, we share so well. a few. There is an Aventus in my five, but it's Aventus Cologne. That one's so great. I, I love have it. Cologne. I think it's the best of the three. For my taste, anyways, I think it's the best of the three. I need, I need to get uh, that one. Original Santal. I agree completely on that. Um, I'm a Silver Mountain Water guy. Me and my wife love Silver Mountain Water. That one's definitely in my top eight, for we sure. We both share the Viking vote. Because Viking, okay. until I got Aventus Cologne, Viking was my favorite creed. Wow. Viking's my number two now. If I'm ranking okay. them, Yeah, yeah. So I got Aventus Cologne, Silver Mountain Water, Original Santal, Viking, and then... The greatest tropical fragrance of all time, Virgin Island water. Wow. Okay. That's yeah. No, yep, no. I put that moniker on it. That's, that's how I feel. Wow. About it. I feel everything else is trying to measure up to it. Mm. Literally every other tropical coconut fragrance is trying to measure up to Virgin Island water. It's a beautiful scent. It's just it makes you smile. For and sure. they still perform. Newer batches still perform. Mm. Yep. Good stuff. So there's our five. Well, his like six or seven. And <laughs> yeah. So I did have an Aventus, just not regular. Aventus. Yeah. We both really enjoy Aventus, but I prefer Aventus Cologne. You know, yeah. Absolute Aventus is good, but I just didn't feel like I needed to have a bottle. I wouldn't say it's better than even the original. I, I really liked it. I thought it was one of the yeah. best releases of last year, but I didn't feel like I had to have it. Yeah, I like it too, uh, but I'll live with my decant. I'll just be fine I, have, with that. I have three carded samples, and I'll probably never go through all three of them, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. Yeah. There's other things I'll reach for instead of it. If I want Aventus, I'm just going to grab Aventus Cologne or my 19S11 of Aventus, you know? There you go. <clears throat> we peaked around 220 watches. Ross held steady at 200 in the chat for a long while. Had to be... Had to be a minute of 35 to 40 minutes. Minimum, so I appreciate yeah, the updates okay. on the anal analytics, Jared. Thanks, Thanks you, Jared. Awesome. So, all right, hold on. If you guys ever started your own brand, would you use your fame slash visibility to help sales or keep your involvement secret to spare the brand all the hate that YouTubers since get? That's an interesting question. Man, you're always breaking down walls with these questions. Wow. Question. Good job. Sister. Oh, man. I mean, this is his live stream. Yes, <laughs> it is. Sir Siage Triple S. Do you want you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You're the guest, sir. I mean, I can go first if you prefer it. I feel like That's, you'd prefer it. I, I, it's I'll, fine. I'll, I'll, lead it. I'll lead us off. I'll lead us okay. Off. So. I feel like it would be a detriment for me not to. If in the event, this is free marketing for me, why wouldn't I? Is how I view it. I have a platform. I have a built-in audience, guys that like to come see me. You'd be up front. This is my brand. I do have skin in the game. I do offer samples, though. Here's the profiles. Anything interests you, you can always get samples. Try it for yourself. It's a very easy premise on how to go about it, because in the event you want to make that investment, why wouldn't you maximize 
getting the word out on your investment. Totally. That's how I look at it. Regardless, because there's going to be trolls, hate, BS, no matter what, with any product, whether we were to say it's ours or not. That's the inevitable. Now, would it be intensified for people thinking it's funny to be an internet troll? Sure. That's <laughs> inevitable. Some people think it's charming and it's their life's work to do things like that, I guess. Yeah. But, um, yep. It would be, I think it would be a little sad to feel like something like that should make you refrain from getting mm -hmm. the word out on something that you really invested probably your life savings into to really get a brand truly off the ground. I'm not talking about st stock bottles with a sticker slapped on it with atomizers mm -hmm. and caps that this long. I'm talking about buying molds. <laughs> and really trying to build it. I'm, you're laughing, but I'm dead serious. Adam, you're so right, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I'm, look, if that's what you got to do to start, there's a lot of brands that start that way and, and elevate yes, for the sure. presentation as they can invest more and more. I'm not knocking anyone that starts that way, but I look at it as if you really want to dive and invest that heavily into it, you, you want to come with your own bottle cap presentation, your unique style, your presentation, something, if you're really going to drop that kind of investment into something. So with that said, you, you put those types of resources into it. Why not? use all the resources available to try to get the word out on it basically is, is what it comes down to. What, what do you think, Justin? Well said, I agree with you. Um, I feel the same way. I feel like backing down for the fear of scrutiny is futile because scrutiny is inevitable. Yes. If you're doing anything with authenticity and sincerity, there will be people who are not achieving anything in their life that will try to make you feel as bad as they do. And that is, there's no avoiding that. Um, and I do agree with you. I think it would be a disservice to all the work you just put in to not use a platform, a very natural platform. It is the way of the world as far as basic advertising goes, but it doesn't even have to be that. It could just be exposure and visibility. It's, it's a natural platform to share something like that. And, you know, especially those of us who have, you know, we have an audience that cares about our opinion and cares about our tastes and, and what we have to say. They would want to know that we're involved with something like that. And I think it would look weirder if that somehow came out later that you were involved, but you kept it a secret. People like your biggest you supporters would be like, why in the world did you not tell us? I want to support. Totally. I'd love to try your new stuff. That's it's totally. it. I agree. Like, I think weird's being nice because it's kind of like, is there something going on that you didn't want people to know? Yeah, you know, it, just, it would, it would make no questions. sense. There's, you know, and, and then you would have to explain it like, well, I know, you know, YouTubers get hate when the blah, blah, blah. So I don't I want to avoid that. It's like, well, I'm weak minded. That's exactly. what I hear. It's, it's, it's just it's fear. Deal with hate. It would be you know? fearful. So. Yeah. So the service was a great way to put it because you, you can't, you can't put that kind of investment in yourself and into something you believe in and mm -hmm. not exhaust every opportunity that you have already in front of you with what you've built already to try to get that out there and tell people. Totally. You know, totally. What is this? Great question. Challenging question too. Very a great question to indeed. the fire kind of question, you know? Yes, indeed. So just got a Zorro Chrome Parfum banger recommendation for spring and summer. It's one that had to grow on me. First spray, I didn't get it. It didn't make sense for that being the parfum planker. But boy, after you give it, it's one of those fragrances that's a grower, not a shower. It needed a little bit. Mm. Needed a few. I've been using that phrase a lot lately, a grower, not a shower. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Accurate. It fits really well. Queen of Silk from Creed is amazing, according to Jason. I've never tried it. Is that the newest women's release? I they believe it is. It is. Um, in fact, I've been wondering if it comes across as fairly unisex because I've seen all types of people saying it's amazing. So maybe I it's know. I just assumed it was a feminine release. But Roger, um, when, when I said literally all of them, I mean, literally all of them, sir. All of them. <laughs> like that, that the it's one. legendary. Yeah. It's legendary. It truly it's, is. It is the mold. Yeah, it is the mold. Yeah, I think I got time for one more like real question. OK, let me let me see if I can find a real good one. Mm -hmm. Let me see. 
So I got I to gotta highlight Spencer real quick. You heard it oh, here. For first. Sure. Justin has a new fragrance line coming out, Pinky Out Productions. Looking forward to the first fragrance, Uniquey Pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Love both of your channels. Great to have the contrast in this space. We appreciate that, Spencer. Uniquey Pinky. Uniquey Pinky. <laughs> You gotta love the clever. That was clever, you know. Amazing. Yes, you guys right, heard so it there's first. There's one that's kind of funny, but no. Let me. No, that's me yeah. That's that, that doesn't count as a real as a question. That's great, though. We'll end on Jason's. What's one fragrance in your collection that you've been gatekeeping? Do you have one that you purposefully not tell people about? No. Me either. That's why I say it's a great question because I was curious yeah. if you had one because I don't. It's what I do is talk about fragrances. You know, I yeah, I mean, and and honestly, I don't, I don't identify with gatekeeping anything. I just because I just I'm like, well, why? Like, so you'll have three other people out in the world who smell like you do because it's not like everyone who hears what you have to say is gonna like, oh, I'm gonna go get that right now, and even if they do. Great. You're just sharing the love because I want people to experience the joy that I experience from fragrances that I love. Ross is the same way. So, yeah. you know, I see I see a lot of talk about gatekeeping online and it's and I'm like, I just don't get it. I'm like. What what benefit are you really giving yourself, I guess, by not telling people? I look at it this way. If you're gatekeeping something, you have an inflated ego. It, you It makes you Ooh. feel special. To have mm. something like that to yourself and you don't want anybody to know and you feel special because you have it and it's desirable to others, but you won't let them know what it is, even if it's not a fragrance. So I think that's an inflation of ego. Look, a little bit of ego and confidence and things like that. It's healthy for everyone. You don't want to go through life being depressed and sad and no confidence in yourself. For sure. There's a healthy dose of everything in the world. Yeah. And there's an unhealthy dose of everything in the world at the same time. And I think that's unhealthy in many yeah. ways because it's. I can't think of a better word than egotistical yeah. to gatekeep things. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I, I would agree. I just don't feel like it's necessary. And I feel like you're not actually serving yourself by not telling people. And especially us as, you know, we have channels. It's like, that's what we do. Yeah. So sure. maybe, maybe we're, we're kind of a special case. Like it's built in that we would not do something like that. Yeah, for sure. I can't imagine any, I, I can't think of a fragrance content creator wanting to gatekeep a fragrance because that's what we do is, tell people what we think about fragrances here's this now i'm smelling this check this out and totally. here's what i think about it yeah but jason that's a great question thanks for a great asking question. that so i guess great. we'll go ahead and end it on that one it was an interesting question i felt like I, I felt like i knew the answer but i was curious if you had an answer other than no <clears throat> yeah it took me it i would have been surprised no if you'd have been like actually i got a whole so there's shelf. This one I still don't want to tell you guys, but I guess since you cornered me. Yes, totally. And it's amazing, but sorry, you should yeah. you're not supposed to yeah. know about it. It's like I'll tell right. you a clone of it, but I won't tell you the real <laughs> Exactly. Yes, indeed. So Justin, this was an absolute delight and a pleasure, man. Thank you for coming on the channel and doing this decant swap with oh, me. Oh, it is my pleasure. Yeah, it was great. And you know, all you guys who hung out, we appreciate it. Once again, this is not the end. No. Uh, I have five more fragrances that Ross sent me. He has five more that I sent him mm -hmm. that we will be smelling on my channel. I think a week from today is the next plan. Wednesday. Same bat time, different bat channel, as I said earlier. Yes. Yeah. So, so we look forward to central again next next Wednesday. I look forward to having Ross there and just get more wows across the screens, which is just so, fun. So that's going to be the fresh pack that I sent him. It's a contrast because today yes. he did the darker fragrances. It's going to be the fresh fragrances. Yeah, that, uh, I very much enjoy that. I'm curious to see what he's going to think. That I oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I just have a big mix I sent to Ross. So no real rhyme or reason, but it'll be a good little variety and it'll be a lot of fun. So I had a you blast. Guys, yeah. This. yeah, this was great. I'm glad we finally were able to do it and I'm glad we get to do it again. Yes, sir. C.I. Sniffington, Triple S, as he's being called in the chat. Thank you, sir, for the idea. This was your yes. live. This is all your fault. Yes, so. you're, you're receiving every dollar that is earned for this life. <laughs> <laughs> that you are not. I will give you the credit. Uh, 
<laughs> your credit will not come in the form of currency. <laughs> your credit is not a USD currency. No, it is not. Yes, but we appreciate you. Yeah, for sure. There he is with the with the silver. Yeah. I appreciate that, sir. Yes. So with that said, we'll go ahead and end it here, guys. Definitely check out Justin. If for some reason you are not subscribed to Justin Copeland, I don't know. You like fragrance? I, I have to ask, do you? Because <laughs> he's very unique in this space. Critical thinking, not of the norm. He's not just super mass appealing, generic, same old top 10 guy. He's not. He's a very thought provoking. Hell, he was my favorite channel before I ever started making content. Him and Carlos make Carlos rest in peace. Uh, so definitely check out Justin. His channel link is right at the top of the video description. If you click show more, you will see at Stay Fresh Productions. Go head over and give him a subscribe and check out some videos while you're there. Once again, Justin, thank you so much for being here. I look forward to next Wednesday on your channel, my man. Me too, man. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for hanging out. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to everybody who gave the super chats. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another live stream here on the channel. I'm not sure what the topic will be just yet. We'll be streaming. Y'all have a good evening, guys. <laughs>